Altona. Uh, Jason Dow says Melbourne, then Altona for PD wins. So well, Premier Division, that is. Smart people. Um, look, I thought it was... Um, it was uh, Altona, but it's eight. I think eight to Melbourne, seven to Altona. They it won is. fifteen Spot between on. them of the twenty-four. Great effort by Ryan Bester gets a half of the jack. I'll just check if that's stayed in by the look of that. So Nugget uh, Ingham, Sean Ingham saying they are one down. So they're one down to the orange bowl at the back. Uh, Clayton knows the matches. They've won three. Um, it's interesting, Essendon was Essendon here today. They won one three or four, or four years ago. Yeah. Uh, they won two, I think. Um, and uh, Deer Park, of course, have won none. Yep. And uh, they'll Bundura's be looking got at, a couple. Yes, Bundura's got a couple. But has been dominated by Certainly two teams. Has. Speaking of dominating, Black Nan yeah, well, knows he's, how he's to do that. He's had it on that wide line. Yep. I don't think that's coming back. Oh, he's in the ditch, isn't it? Sorry. Didn't get so I don't think it'll quite get in for second shot. No, he's using a Henselite XG. It's orange as well. So both skippers using an orange bowl. Ryan Best is the Taylor GTR. It's kind of an orangey yellow, if that makes any sense. But I'd give you the pigment um, number, but I just don't have it with me, Tony. <laughs> oh, a good bit of noise from this crowd early, too. We saw some great crowd interaction earlier with Mooney Valley and Essendon. Expecting no different here. Where's that jack? Is it right out in the, on the it's, edge? It's in the ditch. Uh, just. No, he's just going to fall in. Just a touch too big for Ryan Bester. People watching from Bangkok, so uh, welcome, Keith. You are going to get an absolute treat today. I think I flew over Bangkok once. Nice spot to go. We see Ali Forsyth has picked up a three on the opening end. I can't help but think one of the keys for for Deer Park is to try and contain Ali Forsyth, who is in white hot form. Blake Nan, of course, making the move across from Perth for this season. Couldn't have matched that up better. Ali Forsyth versus Aaron Sheriff. Yeah, it's a you crack of that, a match. You think that we're rigging the draws, wouldn't you? Well, there's talent everywhere. I mean, there you, is. you match up almost any way you like on this green, and you can throw you can throw them out of a hat, and then still end up being absolutely. A yeah. Yep. So if you're in the area, pop on down to Dandenong Club. Strong supporters of the Premier Division Grand Final. We've had it here the last few years. And they have all the facilities. Of course, did very well themselves. Uh, acquitted themselves very well yesterday. Uh, they'll be going into Prem 2. They um, did. They did. Next year, so... Counted for Brighton. So uh, they've had a great year as a club. And Clayton pick up a single on the opening end of this Premier Division final for BCIB. Terrific supporters of the Melbourne Premier Division competition and indeed pennant across the metropolitan area. If you're looking for any insurance needs, BCIB is your one-stop shop. Johnny O'Donnell joining us in the comments. Thank you, mate. Flem Kenner have won two as well in Premier. So. Oh, right. Okay. Good, good yeah. to see Mike Watts, who is watching. Uh, often tunes into our stream from Aberystwyth in Wales. And Denzel's watching from Nullaby. So there you go. People all around the world tuning in. Certainly all parts of Australia as well. So this is Ryan Negri using a Henselite XG, the red and blue. Just cutting his line a little bit on that one. He'll look to correct with his next. Interesting, I looked at the two teams. Uh, there's only been one change to the Park team since they last played. Uh, Tim Cromie came in for Paul Dorgan. Yep. And Paul Dorgan had come in for Tim Cromie. Yeah, because Tim was had a that, laid out. Had that problem, yeah. So, um, and Paul uh, did acquit themselves very well. And... Uh, and then there's no change to Clayton's team. Uh, they they come in unchanged. Um, you know, getting getting them in that mix early in the year, they, they just you know. I do know that Shawningham was playing. Um, I think earlier in the year he might have been playing for Omar, but um, it seems to have worked getting him across with Ryan. I mean, yep. what a rink! 
you no, know, no each other's push. games inside out, obviously, uh, both coming from Broadbeach. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, they play a lot of pairs together, um, yep. uh, Sean and, and uh, Omar, so it's, um, they know each other. Uh, I think they socialise pretty well together too. They do. For mine, he's a much underrated player, is uh, Seaningham. Absolutely. He's like the forgotten import. You know, yep. I don't say that in a bad way, but people don't... You know, he doesn't get mentioned. Yep. Yep. But, uh, you know, having played against him, he's a super, super player. He certainly is. Speaking of super players, Nathan Bush. Victorian state representative many occasions over. And a nice bloke to boot. Who would have thought he's, handy a, he's a prince, a principal of the school? He is. Yeah. He is. Yeah, down Geelong way. Very well respected down yep. there. Well, what kid wouldn't respect him? Well, that's all right. That's all right. Clip over the ear. Yeah. No, you wouldn't get that these days, <laughs> would you? Not allowed to these days, apparently. <laughs> so a few people supporting Deer Park in the comments. Caulfield Park's won a couple as well, so there you go. Thank you, William. Yep. Roger Green's watching from Seattle. Hometown of Jefferson Park Lawn Bowls Club. Welcome to you. Cracker of a match here. Deer Park v Clayton. First versus fourth on the ladder. Ladder positions count for nothing now. This is winner takes all grand final stuff. Dylan Benwell picks up a single on his opening end. James Pierce picks up a two on his first end for Deer Park. So 5 2. Early days, of course. Not sure whether we can see any patterns just yet. Well, they're all playing at very similar length ends. So, you know, uh, these guys, you know, this green is a, this green's a very good green for front end players. Yep. Um, and they'll pick a length that their front ends can get on and can try and control the game. We saw that in the Division One final with uh, Mooney Valley up against Essendon. Both leads were able to find it. In fact, they had great days out. They so did. expecting more of the same here. Barbara Green says Ellie Forsyth and Nathan Bush both playing for Tarrant Point in this year's pennants. How good is that? Spot on. Ellie Forsyth been a, a long time player at uh, Tarrant Point. I didn't know Very that. That's interesting. Yep. yep. A very good crowd in here. It's um, it's sort of, you know, I know the Essendon and um, Mooney Valley people have gone home to celebrate in their own probably watch it on the live stream. They'll probably be watching the game from back at their clubs. Um, but it's filled up again, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah, it certainly has. Both uh, clubs with good support. Oh, the appetite for bowls, especially when bowlers are not playing, they, they just need to get their fix. So they come out here. Yep. Here's Sean Ingham. Let's have a look what he does with this. He was just a bit short with his first. Yeah, I don't mind the track. Yeah, he's got a great track. Should find. He just needs to get down to the blue. And wait, he's pretty Gets, spot on. Yeah, great ball. But uh, Lorraine Dowson signalling uh, the number of shots here, which is good. Uh, so Lorraine Dowson, one of the premier ITOs in the country, is just going to uh, let us know who's holding what. So she signals there, Deer Park holding two. Now, umpires today, Gussie. We've got Bob Carlson, uh, almost the uh, first man of umpiring. He's involved everywhere. And Neil Smiley. And Neil Smiley down the other end. Do I can't see at the minute, but he is. Oh, yes, I can now. He's yep. probably smiling. Uh, also an ITO. Both yep. of those two gents, very experienced and officiate at the highest levels. Thank you very much to our volunteer umpires. Yeah, it's great to have our um, paddle person, I'm going to say. I, yep. I was going to say paddle girl because that would be totally Yep, paddle person. Wrong, but uh, the rain's out there. Um, very experienced. Blake Nan just missing slightly with his first, but he'll get an opportunity. Steve Weston, no, Jimmy's still not 100%, to be honest. He, uh, he spent a few days in bed this week. He is actually here, um, so he's doing some work, but just not quite well enough. And we, uh, we're... Uh, 
Missing Jimmy, we almost talked about whether or not we could get the one and only weak side Clive, Clive Adams across, but we couldn't afford his appearance fees. It's getting me. Oh, very yeah. pleased to have you here, Gussie. Thanks, mate. Clive does a terrific job. Of course, he would know Blake Mann's game inside out. Two of them will have battled each other on the green many a time. Blake he's Mann willing this, like this, he's willing this he's close. Yeah, that's a great pole. Yeah, he likes shot. it with yep. two fingers pointed to the yeah. air. The white pole stayed up. If it had fallen back, it could have been close. But yep. um, they're the sort of shots you want as a skipper to get into that game very, the second end, want to get into the game very early. I really didn't think he liked it. He was telling it to pull up and see his action in the background. It's the turn. He wasn't sure whether it was hot. That's that turning. Yep. Yep. So Ryan Bester with his Taylor GTR. Not just a touch narrow for mine. Yeah, just under, so no change. Courtesy of Blake Nan, that'll be one more to Clayton. We'll take the first two ends. Nice little little punches to pull just to get that, those first two. Makes you feel a bit more comfortable. Now you're in a game, you forget about the crowd. Yep. And you just get on with it. And a three picked up by Aaron Sheriff, so that might be a familiar tale. Aaron Sheriff and Ellie Forsyth going to go head to head all day over there. If you happen to be in the neighbourhood, come on down to Dandenong Club. Great opportunity to watch the world's best bowlers here in action. I know they, they did talk a little bit about the Divi 1 stuff uh, this morning, but it is interesting to see the lineup of the, um, the new Prem 2 now. You know, mm. And I think you were asked about. It must be it must be nice to see your vision sort of come to fruition. Absolutely, yeah. and it's it's working out exactly as we we wanted. You know, people understand now that the ability to get into Premier Two and then the jump to get into Premier won't be as great as it is from Division One to Premier. So um, the teams that are in Premier Two are some quality quality outfits. Well, um, you there know, are no easy games in there. You know, coming up against an Essendon, a Mooney Valley. A Whittlesea, Lilydale, and they'll recruit. Don't yep. worry about that. Uh, Danny Club's up there, um, uh, Heathmont. Um, that game against Kingsbury must have been amazing yesterday. Yeah. One shot. You know, mm. Kingsbury only got one rink, I know. Yep. But it was nearly enough to get him over the line. Must have been Hard cut down the last bowl, too. It did. It did. Toddy Simmons up and about early. And then, of course, Richmond Union and Mentone, uh, who have had some prem experience, will yep. be joining them. Yep. Uh, so it's going to be a really nice, interesting mix. I mean, there's just clubs there that, you know, haven't, you know, just popping their head out, really. Just shows the depth and quality of bowls in Victoria. Well, it, what it shows is a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Heath has <laughs> been at it for five years. Really, you know, really good club, good coaching good people. Dandy Club's been silently just moving along yep. successfully. Um, I know Mooney Valley, I mean, those quality players they added to yeah. that group made a huge difference. They're strong everywhere now, aren't they? Oh, Deer Park. One rink over where James Pierce has played an absolute bomb. And he does it so nonchalantly. Oh, he he, does, just, he just does it. Yep. He just walks down. He doesn't. Yep. So Heathmont was down 20 at the break. That's right. what Craig Bryant says. Wow. And came back, so well done. That's amazing. They would have a lot of belief. They're a group that have been together for a while. Yep. Um, Brighton was probably be a bit disappointed, but, you know, they didn't have Aaron. They didn't have two of their skips. Yep. So it's pretty hard. Um, it's, uh, you've got to have all your, your crew. At this time of year, you certainly do. Connor Vincent watching on from Ballarat, supporting some local talent, which is Jared, who's uh, leading Jared Evans, who's leading for Clayton here. So. And Isabel Piper is watching her son, Luke Piper. So, it's great to see it there. Tommy Todd Simmons, Simmons just played a big back. one. Unch liked it, he's saying, for one. And he did. Keep you updated on that score when they do settle on it. 
There we go. It looked to be one. To Todd Simmons. What's Vici done here? Blake Nan likes it. He's been calling this one a long way out. Just falls the wrong side. The Ryan Negri bowl, but a great effort nonetheless. Afternoon, Brendan. Yeah, I think you are spot on. Seven shots a piece is, oh, no, the scoreboard just updates. Eight, seven, nine, seven, so. Oh, 10, seven, still going, so. Big number picked up there on the Ryan Tayton rink. They have a quality back end. Jay by Norris playing three is going to help out any rink anywhere in Australia. He's got the uh, radar in these rink, hasn't he? So he's uh, good front ends. Yeah, radar, the young fella. Played every position this year, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even choose day pennant. <laughs> Pretty handy. Still trying to, he's amazing. Yeah, very handy player. So it was indeed a five that Ryan Tayton drink picked up for Deer Park. It's a good way to get off the uh, get on the on the board. Joining him just arrives on that bowl. Probably had the weight. And then, of course, the last piece of the puzzle will be happen next week for the last spot in Premier League. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so, Mooney Valley are uh, courtesy of their win earlier on today. They'll play against the team from Fitzroy, Victoria, to see who goes in Premier 2 and who goes into Premier. So that'll be Friday night at Yarraville Footscray. That's the official announcement. Yeah, it's pretty close to it. So uh, don't quote me 100%, but I'm pretty sure it's right. 7 p.m. Friday night, and that'll be a streamed match. We very much look forward. That'll be a great game, seeing what we've witnessed here today and knowing the um, vibe that Fitzroy, Victoria brings. Yep. You probably wouldn't want to miss that one on a Friday night. Absolutely right. Uh, Yarraville Footscray, good viewing areas, uh, meals, drinks. So it'll be a yep, great nice venue. Nice club. Yep. Got a good bistro. Yep. Good greens, good lights. Got everything going for it. See Blake Nan just wanted to kick his bowl a little yeah. bit. Mary Tregan asking, how do they pick the TV rink? Um, tell you what, I could almost say we throw them in the air and we pick whichever one because they're all good. But we, we try and look for a good matchup that's going to produce a good close game. Um, is the long and the short of it. And then we try and share it around a little bit. Uh, most, most, of, most of the teams, each rink gets... But, of course, we can't help if they move the rinks around. Yeah. Um, so you might get a double, what seems to be a double up, but it's not. In this one, we, we'd shown Ali Forsyth in the last match and Aaron Sheriff in, in their last match, so we thought we'll show somebody else. And when you've got the talent of a Ryan Bester... And a Blake Nan. And a Blake Nan out here. Um, gives us a good bit of coverage either way, so... It looks like Ryan Negri's bowl's holding just behind yeah, the kitty. Yeah, just one. Yeah. Just one, and then you've got Veach's Veach's line second. Yellow so. and green splice. Yeah. Bit of a conference early with Blake Nan, Ellen Veach. Just trying to work out if there's any way that they can get at this. It's not going to be the easiest shot to do anything about. Nice to have you watching, Danny, from Palmerston North in New Zealand. Grant Catterick is leading up for one of the rinks. We had him on the stream the other day, uh, leading up for Ali Forsyth. So two Kiwis in the one rink over here. Uh, and he played brilliantly the other day. He's a good fella. He put on an awesome uh, leading um, display. He did. Blake Nan is this. not far away. Clean. Wow. Gets it clean. Wow. 
That what looks bomb. awesome. Let's see the replay. So it's just holding to it, holding to it. Missed the white. Got them both. Oh, good fist bump too. Pump that was, not bump. So it is Clayton holding two, courtesy of an absolute cracker from Black Man. Do you know what, though? I've never seen Ryan Bester flustered. No. <laughs> he just no. does the same thing. And uh, we've all seen his stare on the TV and all that sort of stuff. But um, he looks very calm and collected. Let's see what sort of pain he might inflict. Big way. You don't want to poke the bear. Here he goes. Uh, he didn't get the result he wanted. Did not come out well mm. for one of the best drivers in the game. That one bounced about a foot in the air. There's a couple so. there, isn't there? Yeah, I think that'll Dark be blue two bowl. for Clayton. Jared Where Evans is three. Bowl. Three, yeah. I Thank thought you there very much, Alan Beach. Yep. They had two, so Ryan Bester actually took one out. So. That's three on the trot. It is. Five zip here. Oh, Aaron Sheriff has gone bang against uh, Ellie Forsyth. He's picked up seven shots in two ends. That is a worrying sign for Clayton to not want to let a guy like that loose. 14-10. We've played 10 ends of our 84 here. As we see Jared Evans on the map with his Taylor SRV. Well, Blake Nan, I spoke to him before this match, Gussie, and he looked as confident as ever. Uh, did not seem perturbed by anything. He's more interested in the weather and whether he might need to bring a jacket. <laughs> he was. He was commenting on yeah. the, in the previous stream. Was just having like, a bit that's of a not what I'd be thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, that probably shows how relaxed he is. Ah, professional, cons consummate professional. Yep. You know. Taylor says, G'day from Aberfeldy CBC, having a bit of a watch party. Well, good afternoon to everyone there at Aberfeldy CBC. They've hosted a number of finals for us recently. Great club. Hope you're all enjoying the coverage. And fingers crossed we can have a close encounter here. Got a fan of Blake Nance there, Colin McGrath from, from uh, West Australia. Yep. Rod Peterson for Clayton, also using a Taylor SRV. Yeah, he's got a pretty good track in here. He's got the he's got the cake. Plays here quite a lot, Rod Peterson. Yeah. So he'll know this green inside out. Plays, I heard he lives here. Yeah, uh, practically does. Plays night pennant here. Plays most tournaments here. I coached a bit here last year, I believe. Yeah, too. a little bit. Yeah. I think also doing some coaching down at Carrum or something like that yep. too. So yeah, he's a, he's uh, loves his bowls. One could say he gets around in a nice mm. possible way. Nathan Bush with a little side toucher on the jack. Might want to back up here, try and double up. Yep, roll his own overs okay. He's taking a good line. Should bite. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Oh, no. Just gives it a little risk on the line. That's a great home, though. Yep, does the same job. Counts behind. I was a bit surprised how that motored on, actually. Yeah, I thought it was going to flush his own bowl, but uh, just got around. Good afternoon, Faye Winther. Nice to see you yesterday at Lola. Tough Whit day for the uh, crew from Whittlesea, but they can hold their heads high of having a, a very good year. Well, they really two. backed up from last year. I know, yep, you know. they did. They were very good all they year. They really backed up. It just shows that's what you've got to do is just present year in, year out, and then you, it'll, yep. it comes. You know. Her son, Benny, had an absolute day out. He had a, Big score, a good score, it? yeah. But they, they ran into a red-hot Mooney Valley, and that's the reality of how things work. Mooney Valley um, just a touch too good on the day, and, uh, and then again backed it up today. So, But props to Whittlesey. They had a good crowd there. Good people at that club. 
So Alan Veach just pulled out of his shot to watch a bit of action Dylan, from Dylan Benwell. Dylan Benwell, he hit, he got two out. Not a bad area from Alan Veach. He's a good player, Alan Veach. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. He skipped out at Clayton for a long time too. He's been a real stalwart of the club and, um, you know, takes a bit of pressure off. It allows players to just go yep. back and do, you know, their, their best. That, we just saw that there. He's good enough to skip at this level. I'm sure he's done that many a time, but shows the quality of this Clayton outfit when you've got someone like Alan Veach playing three. So Sean's, it should hold to this bowl yep. on this, this line if he's got the weight. No, well, there you go. Back, back to Nathan Bush's waiting ball. That's that slightly tighter, you know, holding hand. That's what we were saying earlier, much underrated, someone like Sean Ingham. He can come down here and dominate a game just as easily as anyone. Mm. Another one of those guys who's just no fuss about him. You know, see ball, get ball, that you've explained that in, in footy terms. In bowls, see ball, eat ball. Well, we played them this year at Deer Park and he was playing three for... Omar, and he was the one that did the damage. He He's running kiddies down the line for six, you know, and stuff. Like, very good. Yeah. Loads and loads of talent. And a good bloke to boot, like, you know. Good club man? Yeah. I think they've been good ads for Deer Park. Yeah, you know? yeah I agree. They might be fly-ins, but they seem to have fitted in very well. Yep, Vici just collecting the front traffic from Ryan Negri. Dylan Grenwell's just played another big one. He just won down. Someone's to going to break someone's arm over there with some of those high fives. <laughs> they have got some force. Yeah, you, you've got to be careful when you're in pitches rink. You might oh, get yeah. got arms like trees, you know. He's at home in bed. He's a bit crook, so he was meant to be down here today. Is he? But, uh, oh, the all the best uh, to Pidge. Hope you get back. The Pidge is in his coop. Yep. Mm. I hope you get better soon, mate. He will. Heck of a good player. Speaking of good players, Aaron Tease puts a comment in there saying it should be a cracker. Absolutely spot on, Teasy. This will be a cracker. He's a good fella. Well, you know, those guys, Aaron, and that were great additions to the Premier League this year. We'd love to have them down here. Yep. They've been fantastic blokes on the green and off it. Yeah, not wrong. Black man. Looking to work through Alan Veach's bowl. I think it, yeah. it's going to dive. It's underneath. He's, he's close. Let's sit on Nathan Bush's oh. too. Oh, he's I stiff. think it does he's enough. Got it. I think it does enough. He's looking ominous. He is. I, you can tell with these guys when they're, you know. This was tracking a long way out. Had Jack Clean was great. Had ah. Nathan Bush's bowl was great. Just got the wrong side of it, but I favour it still holding one. And this is where we get to see best on the back foot. You know, what's best are going to do? He plays his best bowls when he's attacking. He's a shot maker. He's trying to get to uh, Sean's bowl. He's, well, again, just getting a little bit more turn out of the um, this side. Yep. Both skippers still with one bowl to come. Well, there's nothing on the forehand. I think he... Uh, Vici's on the way in, so I'd play the same bowl. Hits Vici up, gets around that yep. his bowl. Oh, he's got to steer clear of the other side because he's likely to knock up Shawningham's. So coming down through Alan Veach's bowl, he can sit on this two orange bowls of his and uh, Rod Peterson's. 
And the Nathan Bush bowls on the flank there, isn't it? It's third shot. Yep. So he could even land that bowl. Um, because it will hold. He can just play the extra weight, and it will hold to that bowl. Aaron Sheriff picks up another single on the far rink. He now leads 8-3. Let's have a look. He's pushed it out wider. Just yeah, going to come into some traffic. So probably no didn't change. even have the weight. Ryan Bester has another opportunity. Uh, Bester, I think Bester's best chance is to roll the white. Yep, up and through Sean. I don't against. think through the hole we'll get the kitty because he'd need too much weight. He's pushed it out wider. It's got to come. And the weight he played there, that it tends to, it does tend to hold a bit. It, it, it runs a bit faster yep. um, out there and uh, just doesn't turn for you. Blake Nan and co. continue on their merry way, Gussie. That's four ends in a row. What a great start for the for the rink. And, you know, like, it's setting the challenge for uh, Omar's rink on at the other end. Yeah. So, 8-3 up and they're 7-love up. So, It's he who settles in best uh, on this surface. Get your front ends on. Easier to draw to a uh, to a winning head on this green. Yep. And we're not seeing the skips play any weight. I mean, that's been the history of this green for the last couple of years. It's draw, sort of drawing, overdraw green. Great opener from Jared Evans. Must be pinching himself. Life's Where pretty I am. good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Life is pretty good. Good response here from Ryan Negri to just Very good whisker golf. past the jack. It's got a fair track, and they want it to work a bit. Here it comes. This is another good bowl. Super bowls by Jared. I'm surprised. Ryan's playing the other hand. You kind of thought mm. might have switched around, but uh, he's only going to tap the blue, of course, but he's going to probably get... Uh, Get in the gap would have been nice. But similar. Yep. Hasn't probably changed much. Still pretty good battle for both leads. Fantastic bowls. Pidge has joined us in the uh, chat. Nice surface. It is. It is a real good surface here. Rinks three, four, five, and six. I know ditch rinks in play at all, and it is cherry ripe. Conducive yes. to very good bowls. Yes, no rink one, Pidge. So you don't have to worry about that one now. In fact, we're sitting on rink one. We are indeed, sitting in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah they put out some um, Matching. temporary flooring. It's a great club down here, the Dandenong Club. You happen to be in the area, come on down. Opportunities for something to eat, something to drink. And some of the best cool. bowlers in the world here. Mark Casey bowling a great bowl down there. Draw some high fives. Bushy well, just helped Jared out a little bit, make it, make it a bit. It's probably locked the kitty in there now. It has a bit. Mm. Speed's good, buddy, was the call from Ryan Bester. You just got to challenge the look of this head. Well, the exact same bowl is going to do that for him now, so. It's whether it'll. I don't know, it's coming. Okay. Poor result. There's no law in bowls that says even when you're in the area you get the result. No, that's right. It doesn't happen. But you do you can't get the result unless you're in the area. Or you wick off a bowl. That's the other thing. Yep. They do happen. A lot. 
Poor Vici. You hold two. Life's looking good. He's just got a good, pretty good line. It's just got a yeah, grip now. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. Oh, wow. I don't mind that it. That is a beautiful. Wow. He loves it. He graces his arms. What an absolute peach. He's thinking, I can do anything today. This is great. He has the ability. No doubt about that. Ah. This is great to watch. Maxi Kleinig. Sean, Sean won't let this go unanswered. No. Nah. There he goes. A little bit of weight. Nothing too crazy weight-wise, no, but going to be contact. Yeah, Squeezes it's it still out. Too still down. too down, but it's better. Hope you well, Maxi. Nice to have some South Australian viewers. Repeat the dose. It's just a little bit through, but that's all right. Not a bad home. Yeah, it's a very good home. Oh, shorting him. That's two in a row. The jack goes just yeah. out of bounds. We will set that one up again. Clap from Rowan Negri. Job done, let's reset. A couple of viewers from South Australia, Geraldine from Panola. Welcome, Geraldine. Bring the balls back and reset. There's a slight breeze coming, wafting across now. Got a bit more breeze here outside, but it's fairly well protected here. Yep. It's not too bad here, is it? Ah, if you, if I was a member here, I'd probably have a stretch of bed somewhere. And just Happy so, days yeah. here. Happy, happy days. Let's oh, see. Unch, Unch on the next ring. Gets a good little trail like that. Yeah, he was an addition to the Clayton team this year alongside rinkmate Ryan Drummond. Absolutely. Grant Catterick, who's leading for Ali Forsyth. There's such yep. four players they brought in, I think, from memory. I don't think there were too many others. Was Rod Peterson Clayton last season? Yep. Yep. But, you know, they just, uh, good teams just build yep. build around their, their squad. And uh, they've done that like Moody Valley, the team we saw today. Wow. You know. I think you have to, don't you? I mean, it's like keeping pace with everyone else. You need to be constantly on the lookout. Building a team. This ball puts a finger in the air. Very nice bowl by Disco. Yeah, that rink's had a good year. What yeah. I call that rink, their local rink. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Very, very good. I reckon Alan Veach should be the type of player I'd like to see mic'd up just to know what he's actually saying half the time. He's having some good conversation with Rod Peterson. Yep. I'd love to know what it is. You can actually almost understand VG these days. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. We say that tongue-in-cheek, of course. <laughs> right, uh, Nathan Bush. My wife doesn't seem to understand what I say, so... <laughs> <laughs> You've got some Scottish heritage. Yeah, I have. It's strong. 
It's two to the deep park. They look to be in the groove now. They're just um, settled in. You know, we're 15 ends uh, in the game, just warmed up. They've each had three or four ends each. And yeah, it's a familiar pattern, isn't it? You know, everyone's up and about early, and then three or four ends, they start to settle in, and things start just going according to their plan. And then as things get close near the end, the roof nearly lifts off. Yeah. Yeah, good set by Nathan Bush. It does make the target a little wide for mine, but... Ryan Tate gets a few high fives over there. Yeah, it's a pretty compact looking head over there, yeah, so it's hard Kelly's to see what just, he actually did, but... Kelly's delicately just pulling mm. Warren. Two. Out. Mm, now they start to have a look. Looks to be three over there to Ryan Tate. So. Beachy's just trying to get down. Nearly. It's those small little wins. I could see the disappointment on Kelly's face then. Yep. Like, it's like another three, you know, we're 10 behind. It's like, you don't want to be getting 20 behind, you know, and those, you can sometimes see patterns uh, emerging. Well played, Shawningham. Very nice. Uh, don't call anybody who puts their number in the chat. That's obviously some peanut who deserves to be banned, so we'll take the appropriate action there. Oh, I thought you just rang them. <laughs> you can offer your credit card details. No, we don't. We don't do that. Katie Sherlock has just brought over some snacks for the commentators. Thanks, so well Katie. done to Katie. She's a star. Good bowl here by Vici. Little... T oh. Oh, well, okay, it's well, gone in amongst it, though, so he might still be one down, but... He took Ingham's bowl out. Yep. Sean will probably just put it back. He's Looks a little wider for mine, but... Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, they do hoop pretty good, as you said, from this hand. They do hoop pretty nice, so... Um, he's got touch a touch it. unlucky there. Just kicks the jack into Alan Veach's bowl, so... So they're lying three down there. Yeah, nice to have you watching, Shane. They absolutely are. Um, and I think, Gussie, this is a message for everyone. No matter what standard you bowl at, you can watch these games and learn a lot of things. Not just what shot to play, but even when you watch these guys and girls at this level, when they miss, they never miss by much. Shot selection is at an absolute premium. Of course, the ability to skip back in time and watch the replay a few times is always it's quite close. handy as it's well. Close. Great, great way. Beautiful way. I don't quite see where the kitty is in there. It's, it must be near Alan Veach's middle bowl. Yeah, it's sort of in between the two of Alan Veach. So but, are they lying? But a little bit in front of, so. Right. Uh, 
to see. Black Man gives that look every now and again like he doesn't like it. Like it's come out a bit too hot. But he's coming back, but not enough. So, so I think it's two down with Nathan Bush's bowl lying behind them, the aqua and blue. Here comes Bester, as they call him. No, he doesn't like it. Turn. Ooh. Second shot, maybe. How many? Uh, it looked to be one to Clayton. Yeah, they continue one out. on their merry way. I'm always bemused when he didn't look happy at all, no. and he's just cut a shot out. And this is the thing with just how good these players are. For them, not happy can be the difference of yeah. an inch out of the hand, and they know it yeah. straight away. Whereas for me, not happy is, you know, put it in the ditch or yeah. out of bounds, which happens regularly. So the worry uh, for Clayton yep. is Aaron Sheriff looks to be, well, I won't say having his merry way, but he was three down after the first end, and since then he's peeled off ten straight. So they're going to have to look to contain him, which the job will be on Ali Forsyth and his rink. I was just having a look at what shot Ali was playing there, just to get a sense of what's happening on the... He's playing with a little bit of weight, just arriving weight in a ditch. He's yeah, hit a bowl he up. He a bit of front stuff, so... And he's putting his hands up. He didn't look too happy with it. I think the bolt turned. Deer Park pick up a couple, so that's Aaron Sheriff again. Now moves to 12 3. They played six ends. That Aaron Sheriff rink. So the sheriff rink is in front of the others. One of the better blokes in bowls has joined us in the comments. Nice to see you there, Kevy. As long as Bester keeps within 48, I should be okay. <laughs> Not sure oh, what that Kevy. means, really. But You're a one of a kind, Kevy. Right. Hayden Harper saying, what uh, mix of brands do we have on TV? So I'll run through them just quickly. We've just seen Rod Peterson deliver. He's using a Taylor SRV, orange size three. Uh, Nathan Bush is on the mat now. He's using a Henselite XG, sort of a two-tone blue colour, size four. The leader for Deer Park, Ryan Negri, is using a Henselite XG, blue and red, size four. And the leader for Clayton is using, Jared Evans, using a Taylor SRV. Size three. Nathan Bush kicks the ball out to his opponent. We've got a result come in from Brad Marin. Mm. Bendigo beat Bendigo East by one shot in the grand final. One shot in the wow. grand final. Well done to Bendigo. Getting over the top of Bendigo East. That'll be a decent old celebration in B-Town. I'm not sure who the big boy, who, who's, who'd be the, uh, the big brother. Uh, Bendigo or Bendigo East? No, I think they're both pretty handy. Pretty handy bowls, yeah. Yep. Yep. I know Bendigo East, so we do some stuff there. Yeah, we do. Yep. Great and Bendigo, of course, will be the home of the Commonwealth Games in 2026. Nathan Bush with a pretty good response. Just a little Just held deep. up on him. So back end of these two rinks, Sean Ingham uh, for Deer Park using a Henselite XG. White in colour, size three, and Ryan Bester using a Taylor GTR, an orange and yellow speckle, size four. Back end for Deer Park, Alan Veach, the uh, Henselite XG, green and yellow, size four. And Blake Nan also using a Henselite XG, an orange in colour, size four. So Henselite's uh, showing the way, and a bit of action from Taylor. Of course, Henselite, proud supporters of the Victorian Open. Yeah, scheduled handled. to kick off in a couple of weeks' time. Absolutely. Yes. Can't wait. Uh, the, the draws are out. So um, yep. there'll be some gnashing and crying and some celebration, maybe. I don't know. There will. There's uh, a good good mix of uh, calibre of players there, though. Yeah, I agree. 
There's some great players, and I think they're going to find a fun time down in Gippsland. Looking forward to seeing everybody down there. I had to look up a couple of towns yesterday. Yeah, there's a couple of small ones there. Hayfield. Um, yep. But I tell you what, you will love it. Yeah, um, can't wait. And this is the thing, you know, we, we've been in the Golden Valley for a dozen years, 10, 10 goes at it, and a um, bit of COVID interruption, but there's a lot of towns up there that people might not have been to previously, and they have because of the Vic Open. So yep. we'll end up uh, with some better knowledge of the Gippsland area. And you'll see some of the clubs down there are absolute world-class facilities. So. Failing uh, being at Trelgan or Morwell, uh, you'll find a bit of good country hospitality. Some smaller clubs who will do their area proud. Of course, Trelgan and Morwell will do a ripping job as the main hosts. Big ball played by Todd Simmons in the next thing. He's up and about, Todd Simmons. they got. Getting down to measure. So Nugget was a little bit narrow with his first. How yeah, well as he corrected? Oh, it's a good effort. Second shot. see what it was. No, we'll see the scoreboard updated. I did hear the word three mentioned, but three would be a handy pick up for Clayton. Yeah, absolutely. They're trailing 6-2 on that rink. One, two, Three. So there you Three. go. Todd Simmons picks up. Oh, no. It's just updated. Seven. Four, five. So there we go. Some of the scoreboards uh, here at the venue. Four shots. Four. No, they just took one off. There we go. So four. Four. We're definitely settling on four. Can I have any advances on four? Four it is. They played six ends and they are locked at six shots apiece. Our pleasure, Craig. We are blessed to be able to give you some excellent coverage of some excellent bowlers as Ryan Bester doesn't change the standing but gets through a bit of traffic. Yeah, Rod Peterson's bowl looks to be holding Jack High. Actually, it probably is Blake Nance. I'm being confused by the orange bowls, aren't I? So. That's the tangerine one. Yeah, if Rod Peterson's got shot, and yep. then immediately in front of yep. that will be Blake Nan, yep. so they are holding two, so my apologies. Three sets of orange bowls on this rink. So if the job wasn't hard enough already. So, let me just trying to add here. Stares it, stares it down. He's thinking, will it hold? Will it hold? No, it's going to turn. Just whips in Lovely under. Lovely weight. So what can Ryan best to do? Well, he doesn't own the back because Rod's got the back. Yep. He draws the shot. Uh, the trail's on. Four draw and see if he can squeeze the jack through, but... I make that sound easy, and it is. He's going to backhand. Yeah, because the trail on the forehand it goes back to Jared's bowl, the blue one. There's a white one further back. Sean Ingham's. I think he's going to go hard at this. Yep. There we go. Much better drive from Ryan Bester. Oh, took one out. Yep, gets one out. But you know, he was in the area. That 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 was very uh, close. So. Deer Park still yet to get on the board here. Six ends in. Nine zip to Blake Nan's rink. We saw Ryan best out. Curtis is a very good judge from Perth. 
letting us know that he reckons he might have slipped on his first drive. We saw one just right. come out about a foot high, and I reckon that's probably spot on. Clive Adams, thank you. Saw that one get out much smoother. Good of course, pick up, Clive. does have a devastating drive, Ryan Bester. Oh, they don't call him the master blaster for nothing. Yep. And has an excellent draw shot, which is often underrated. Getting private texts about the difference in colours, tangerine and orange. She's, I won't say who sent it, but they're probably right, but it's our way of distinguishing it. I think Tris must have finished a golf game. I think that was Scotty Bowles that played that big bowl on the other rink, wasn't it? Yeah. Ali just played a big bowl, they clap in that. Yeah, and Hayden Day has just let out a yelp on his rink. He's uh, playing second for Dylan Benwell. So, it's right. a bit happening here. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's at an interesting stage now because you've got two rinks that are in control and they're both, one's Clayton and one's Deer Park. Yep. The other rinks are not in a battle. Well, one's down eight too, actually. So, there's another rug, Deer Park rink. It's, uh, it's uh, time that uh, Clayton hangs on, I think, and... Um, Deer Park would like to push away. That's the would be the respective thoughts. Who's winning the crowd battle? Is the uh, question in the chat from Matty Otobro? Uh Pretty even. Pretty I level, think. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Deer Park came with a big busload of people, and uh, uh, Clayton have got. They tried to, you know, give me a shirt. Even I said I just couldn't wear it. The, the it both teams have got a lot here. Yeah. There's all the, the Clayton support is, is mainly behind us. Yep. Um, the Deer Park support is... There's actually not a seat in the house. No, it's a, no. it's, it's a, a full, full all around. Pushy just a touch wide. Finishes in a pretty good home, though. Janine Kelly is playing three for um, for Dylan Benwell, so, which is the same way they lined up last week. I don't. Um, she did play on the Saturday. She played a skip. Uh, Dylan was at a wedding, I think, from memory. Um, but I imagine they've been playing a bit together. So, the story behind that, there is a story. I think we can say what the story was. Yeah, that why not? Dylan's an AFL employed player, and he was allowed to take time off to go to a wedding, but not to play a game of bowls. Which is fair enough. Your employees yep. got, you know, it's, you know, they had a practice game going on, I think. Um, yep. So he decided, well, I'll go to the wedding, which good on him. You're not going to get, he's not going to get much of a break for the next six months. That is true. Playing pretty well too, Dylan Benwell. Gary Cantwell, it is a very good game. If you're in the area, pop on down to Dandy Club. Plenty going on down here. Yeah, Shawningham just one down, but great effort nonetheless. Track was good, just needed another 10, 12 inches of steam.
changing commentary soon. Gussie, people have heard enough of my rubbish. Oh, you've you know, had a pretty full-on day, and bring in some you're not even meant to be here, there, mate, so, No, I'm not. So, so, no know. one will know. No. Um, so we'll bring in some people who know what they're talking about, which will be good to see. Yeah, we've got to sit few, alongside you, Gussie. A few people lined up with a bit, bit, bit more knowledge than maybe you and I, Tony. Well, I think you, uh, you've got all the knowledge in the world, mate. Not shorting them down here. He's just trying to get back. He's going to touch his own bowling, I think. I think that'll be good enough yeah, for shot he's, now. He's a class player, really he is. is. Now they've got to hold it. They haven't been able, they haven't been able to hold them. Commentary breakup, says David Butterworth. We haven't got that from anyone else, mate, so it could be your local internet. Gary Cantwell is going to find it hard to pop in from Hobart, that is true. But, uh, please that we can bring you the coverage. He's on a fair track. And he's just going to find a little bit of front traffic. Jared's, is it? No, that's Ryan's. Ryan Negri's. Ryan Negri's. It's so a XG. Luckily for him, he didn't find enough of it. Yep. What has the man Ryan Vester done? Well, he's just trying to add. He looks a little bit wide to me. He wants it to come back. He wants it to it's come back. It's trying hard. They That's just don't. Not quite. They just... Good effort. Actually, maybe another foot of weight. You know, he would have got a result. This wasn't quite there. Kyle Bennett saying there are a few stream issues. It keeps freezing, so we'll get Brad just to have a look at our end and see if it is. While uh, Alan Beach and Black Nan have a little chat about what the best option is. Well, I think that's um, Jared Evans at the back on the line. Yep. Red and blue. You can only see the red, though. That's Ryan yeah. Negri back here. Yep. Uh, Ryan Neg Negri, I meant. Yep. 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 So, Shawningham's got the shot bowl. Blake Nan will be looking to do something about that. Well, he's very... You want to keep them starving. Yeah. You do not want them fed, these guys. In, in. So, he wants to deny them again. Yep, oh, change, he's got it. Now, that's... that's he not only, only is he on his game, that's fairly fortunate. Yeah, you could hear Blake Nan mouth wow, uh, knowing that that was a fortunate result. Didn't cheer, they're all... He's even looking up at the sky. Vici's remaining very composed, like... Yeah. I mean, look, they know it happens. Sometimes yeah. you're on the, the right end of it. Um, it was good, actually, in the last game, Gussie. I don't know whether you picked up, but Nathan Lynch got a fortunate result. And a few of the people in the crowd were, yeah, you know, I think it was a great and he shot. Went. And he sort of yeah. gave them the signal to say, no, no, don't you don't cheer that. Settle so, down. Which was good. Uh, Barbara Green. All right. Thank you. We appreciate that. Jimmy is a little under the weather, actually. He's had a few days off work this week. So he's he is actually here. Um, but he's not going to be doing much commentary. He might pop in for a little bit. But he's not 100%. So He's working in the background. Yep, and everyone else saying their stream is good. So oh, great. Fingers crossed that comes through as being good. So, Ryan Bester now looks at this facing one down. He, he, might, just, he might go on at, the mat he, now. We'll he see. might just go at this. No? no? Uh, okay. Yeah, he looks wide. See how that came back a bit more? Yep. And it was wider. Some of these carpets have a bit of a, sometimes an inside track and an outside. So yep. where everyone walks, it'll sort of hold with good weight. And then you can go on the outside of that, further out than you'd normally go, and they will, it will swing. 
So 10 zip, and we played seven ends. And just seem to be finding a way to get it done. I suppose the only consolation for Bester and his rink is that uh, Deer Park's five shots up on the main board, so you've got to be thinking that, you know, yep. I'm not costing us anything at this stage, um, and I need to, you know, try and get back in par on par over the next 14 ends um, with this rink. They don't have to win by 20. They yep. know that. Yep. They just need to sort of go with them now. You won't see any stress and strain. But every bowler likes to get on the board. <laughs> it, do. It's, it's that sort of mental barrier. Uh, like, oh yeah. Should we be here? Do we belong here? We, we can't mm. even score. Mm. But once you get off that duck egg, things can change pretty quickly. Well, look, they know they belong. Uh, they, but they also know the... Uh, the game of bowls is yep. not kind sometimes. Oh, this is and true. That's what's happening here. And we're just going to have one of those days. Um, Blakey's played a few big bowls. And, uh, you know, I, I don't see much between these two rinks in their play. No. Nope. Jared Evans been pretty good as a lead, though, he for has. Clayton. Yep. That's sort of set the tone for the rest of the rink. I think Rod Peterson's been pretty, pretty He's reasonable, been good. too. Yeah, no, I'd both be pleased. See how Ryan goes here. They're looking for a spark of magic. And here it comes. That's a great. Yeah, well now that's played. a very good bowl. That's Ryan a great bowl. A little back hopper. Chris Fleming saying that uh, Bester needs Gus leading. <laughs> Can't be everywhere, though, can you? I mean, good in commentary, good on the green. You just got to choose one sometimes. Yeah. Oh, what a luxury having Bester as a skipper. Yeah, a pretty good year this no, season. No, I choose you? pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly would. It's close. Yeah, Rod we just Peterson. we just speaking about Rod. Yep. And you know, it's like they just won't go away really, will they? No. It's Perfectly way to draw shot. Wrestles the shot back. And Sheriff picks up another single. Played seven ends. Over on his rink. He dropped a three on the opening end, and since then he's picked up 13 straight. Wow. I think Rod was playing three for Ali early in the year when we played them. Um, so he's got a lot of experience, and maybe he's played two for Ali, but yeah, certainly they've tweaked a few things. Bushy with an absolute peach with his first. We'll see what he can do with his second. Shawningham assuming skipper's duties as Ryan Bester ducks off for a comfort stop. Good effort. Yep. Well... Right, I guess he, you enjoy the rest of the call, mate. Uh, we're going to bring in Anthony Briggs. I think he's going to jump into commentary now. So oh, beautiful. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks, Good mate. luck, everybody. Veach lines up. He's got Nathan uh, Bush's bowl coming in. He'll probably play a little bit more weight to try and get underneath that. Played a great bowl there on fire. Welcome, Anthony Briggs. How are you? Good, Gus. Good Thanks on for joining us again. Uh, we had you uh, out at Yarraville Footscray a couple of weeks ago. A few weeks ago, yeah. I watched the, uh, well, did the uh, Yarraville Footscray Fitzroy Victoria game. Yeah. First of Victoria's, uh, Fitzroy Victoria's away wins, or the only one, I think, yeah. that they had for the season. Well, you witnessed, I think I played in that game. and um, did. 
they uh, we did the stats on that game afterwards. They How did that look for you? Pretty good. Yeah. We were holding yeah. 15 times on crossover, yep. and he, he converted nine ends. It was a tough deck that night, that's yep. for sure. It yep. was, uh, you know, it, it been a bit wet during the day. And yep. It certainly suited them a bit more, Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, we certainly spoke about that. This is a great setting, isn't it? <sighs> this is, yeah, this is what it's about, you know. I've uh, obviously had the pleasure of sitting back for the first few ends, watching across all rinks. And, What's your uh, thoughts? What, what, what have you been saying? It's, well, look, you know, honestly, I thought there's, there's, there's been a couple of stages where I thought Deer Park were going to get away. I thought Deer Park would get away with the game for a little bit, and then Clayton dragged it back, and then Deer Park got the ascendancy again, and, and Clayton, to their credit, have drawn it back and held them pretty solid. Clearly, clearly Blake uh, Nansring's doing a real job for yeah. them. Um, but, I, you know, I thought, in all honesty, when I saw the draw come out during the week, uh, big by Toddy. Toddy's running um, up the green like yeah, a young kid. He's, he's, he's found some years, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, when I saw the draw during the week, I thought, well, the, the, the uh, Nan Lester Inc. and the Sheriff um, Alley Rink would, uh, would be really good matchups. Yep. And I honestly thought the game would be one in the middle in the, in the other two rinks. But... Um, so far, with Aaron Aaron's week being out 13-3, yep. I'm not sure if that's completely correct, but um, was, I think there was a couple of ends I thought missed there. But but um, it, there's a fair balance right across the board. Yeah, well, Aaron's won two, four, last six ends. Yeah, right. Yep. There, so. Uh, and the set, I mean, the setting and credit to the Danian on clubs, amazing. It's a it's a great setup here. Um, you know, catering for obviously the players and also the spectators alike. There's great room, you know, all the way around the green for everyone to sit and relax. Well, and we're saying there's hardly a seat, uh, hardly a seat uh, uh, available, yeah, really, correct. a viewing seat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and I mean, the crowd that was here earlier. I was here a fair bit earlier for the uh, Mini Valley Essendon game. There was a fair crowd here for that too. And you know, then there was a changeover when we got ready for this game, and sort of some left and went out, and then a whole heap come back in, which was really good to see, supporting both levels. Yeah, I suspected that the teams who Essendon and yep. Mooney Valley would leave. I mean, I remember when we won Divi 1, you know, you wanted to go back to your club. go back to your club and um, celebrate. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a pretty special time. He wants this to hold. Just wants it to hold a bit. He's done well. He speeds really good. Yeah, he's, he's played awesome. He's been outstanding. He's been outstanding. Any time, and along with Alan as well, um, as, as third, any time it's looked like Deer Park's had a chance at holding a shot, either one of them have come out and... Uh, well, the last end was evidence. We, he probably got a good result. Yeah, but oh, he did get a... And, and to be to be fair to Blake, he didn't uh, he didn't say anything no. about it. He said, you know, Actually looked up result. at the man upstairs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As best are looking, he's just. Oh, he's, I, I, I feel like he's been struggling to find his speed. To yeah. be honest with you, there's no rhythm to his game uh, at the moment. I, I think it'll turn for him. I think last week, from memory, um, on the on the Saturday, he was yep. a little bit behind at the start yep. and took a little bit of, bit of time to get his rhythm. So, and you know, for for Blake, it's it's. How much can we? How long can we deny them? Correct. Yeah. You know, this is the game. Well, you know, and I guess you'll get to the point where opportunities just to take ones to deny yep. uh, the best of any chance of getting into the game. Yeah. You know, keeps the pressure on them. Because I was just saying earlier, their rink won't be concerned because they're, they're up on the overall. Correct. Correct. They've just got to do their damage yep. just to limit to ones where they possibly can, and when they find the opportunity to get the shot. Uh, go further out. That's another great bowl. Gives you speed. Brilliant today. I haven't, I've, I haven't seen him bowl like this. You know, I know he was in the BPL and all that. Yeah. You don't get to see a proper full game, but you know yeah. we've watched a good half here. And right, yeah, Let's see what Ryan does here. Well, he's gone for a bit of weight. He's, he's going to get unlucky. Yeah. Oh no, he's not. Well, I think. Oh, uh, there you go. You'll find that. Uh, well, that might be the tide. Who knows? That might be the one that turns some. Actually, I think I actually think Best did look at the plate and crowd behind us and went. Just had a little look. Over. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> a little look because they may have cheered a bit too hard. Well, on that. you know, this you, you, that's the difference between what the players are doing out on the park and what the nah. some of the spectators maybe at different levels applaud when when you know the guys out on the green certainly know yeah. what's good and what's bad. And yeah, yeah, you got to find the balance. But um, well, they're saying in the Mooney Valley game that uh, something happened and one of the skips. Uh, uh, Nathan, I think, just went settled, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
um, in amongst all the hoopla that was going on. <laughs> Certainly, that on was. There. I mean, that's one of the noisiest games I think I've ever heard, to be honest with you. But uh, they were enjoying themselves. They're young well, you, and they're enthusiastic. You Mooney average Valley, age so. of twenty-seven. I did hear they that. Had a lot of you know a lot of um, energy there. Yeah, I you know I remember at Melton and, and we thought our uh, average age in our top side thirty-four was pretty good, but twenty-seven's amazing. Yeah, I think they're going to be a great addition if they managed to get into Prem, or yep. Prem Reserve, they're going to be a great addition anyway. Well, they've still, been, they've still got the task ahead of them next week. They've got to come up against uh, Fitzroy Victoria Friday night. Yep. Um, has the venue been named? A Yarraville Footscray. It's Yarraville Footscray. So, you know, that, that, that was their one and only away win for the season. Yep. Um, uh, Fitzroy Victoria. So they'll so go there with good memories. They'll go there with good memories yep. and, and feeling confident. So it's all about... Um, you know, how Mooney Valley can adjust coming off this deck in the next. Oh, I guess, obviously, they've got momentum on their side, which is something that's probably a challenge for for Fitzroy Victoria, having, you know, sort of three weeks out of, of, of not bowling to pick up that momentum again. But yes, there's nothing. You can't beat um, the oh, full game oh, combat. Correct, correct. I mean, it's, it, 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 you know, it's all about flow and effect and... A bit of momentum and all that sort of stuff. So, oh, he's just, uh, uh, Dane yeah. Boots has messaged in. Blake's surface is an indoor carpet. He's right on home here. He's right on home. I think some. I think I saw someone early say he's from Warnborough, which is a amazing setup. Right. Um, but uh, well, it's showing. Certainly showing at the moment. But you know the class of all the other guys in the rink as well. I mean, oh. they're all, at, all all playing at a high standard. There's certainly been made some some great conversions on both sides. Oh, I think they're all doing their job. Yep. I don't, I, I, you know, other than probably what's going on with Ryan and Blake, I, yep. I couldn't really split the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, let's let's be honest. It, it, on the, on this Nan rink here, it's ten one after eight ends. Mm. It's not exactly. I mean, sure they're dominating on the scoreboard, but that doesn't suggest it's a blowout. No, it doesn't. Stretch. No. Interestingly, the Pierce rink got out. I think the Pierce rink was out six two, and they've sort of stopped. Yep. Stopped in their yeah. tracks a little bit. They dropped a four. Yeah, they dropped a four. All. Yeah, and then, and then they dropped a three. Yeah. So, um, you know. Watch a bit of the poles here. The bushy goes. So smooth out of the hand, Nathan Bush. Beautiful. Good track here. The speed's there. It's probably just tracking on Jack. Actually, Simmons has picked up the last four. One, four, one, two. Definitely a momentum. So there's, there's a bit there. of a run. Yep. Um, certainly the run now. Um, Sheriff's run's been broken. Uh, I think. Yep. Yeah, definitely. They were at 33. Yep. The so he had a run going and Blake had a run going. So those runs have been broken now, so we'll probably see it settle down. Well, you know, two shots overall at the minute. It's, it's anyone's game. Oh, know. Clayton would love where this game's going. Oh, completely. Yeah, I mean, I think they got out. Deer Park got out to 11, 12 shots yep. at, at one point. It looked like uh, they were charging ahead, but to Clayton's, uh, to Clayton's credit, they've, they've, they've held it really well and, and, and drawn back, you know, bits and pieces here and there to get themselves back into the game. I was watching the roll-up and um, Blake was rolling up on the TV rink and Ali came across and rolled up yep. next to him and they were talking. Yep. And I know what they were talking about. Ali's like, yep. I can't be a single target here. Correct. It's, yep. it's you know... Oh, I mean, I, you know, I think that... Um, I think Blake draws a crowd anyway. Absolutely. He, he, he's an interesting guy to watch. I, I had the pleasure of seeing him... Um, at the Vic Open a lot. He seemed to, every time I was somewhere, he was somewhere. Yeah. And and uh, he's a fiery character. He's got some heart and some passion, and it's good to see on the bowl screen. And I think he he certainly draws enough attention. I mean, you know, clearly, uh, Ali Forsyth and uh, Aaron Sheriff as a game is, is, is something a lot of people want to watch. But the, but the exhibition that Blake's put on is certainly something that... Um, I actually think he's settled into Melbourne. He's done really well. Victorian Bowls. I think he came in, probably felt he had a lot to prove. Yep. Um, maybe added a bit of noise to that. Oh, definitely. And now he realises he does. He's watched how the other guys conduct themselves. Completely. Um, he goes, you don't have to carry on. I think he's a leader you know, within the club. Absolutely. I mean, clearly, you know, Ellie's been there a long time and is the 
is the heart and soul of the club for the most part. But for, for, him, for him to come in and take some of that pressure off Ali has is, is really Huge. been positive for Clayton. And, 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 you know, it's shown in their finals. Well, you so can far. see in the uh, Essendon Mini Valley game, I mean, Ann Flapper's rink's done an amazing job all year. They've built up a really strong rink, yeah. and that rink's gotten through a lot of yeah, games. Yeah, correct. Yeah, correct. And they were a target today. Yeah, they were. And and, and they know it. I, I was having a chat earlier, and it was whoever got Ant that could contain them and hold them close. They're going to have a chance. Realistically, they thought they'd have a chance to, to yeah. you know, take it on the other rinks. And we're not talking about anything that's a secret here. That's not just really. I mean, Captain everyone obvious. would know that. Yeah. I mean, you got Ant, Thor, uh, Paul Williamson, yeah. all at the same rink. So Dynamic. Seconds. It, it, it's, uh, it was an amazing rink. Yeah. You know I mean, <laughs> that's a Premier League rink just by itself, you know. Tough head to get into here on the forehand, but um, positional at the uh, at the worst, I think. Jared's bowl's holding one, and that's the Clayton bowl behind is um, uh, our, our Roddy Peterson's. Yep. We're calling them tangerine bowls. Tangerine, is it? <laughs> uh, no, well, uh, well it's, Ryan it's, must it's have a, mandarin bowls in Yes, there. mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> Best is, I think he'll draw the shot here. He's got a nice line. He's not just far got a break. away. He's touch heavy. He's just anything. got a break under this. Yeah, just, He's right. going to get a little rub and in he comes. That's twice there in a go. row. Yep. That's, uh, that's almost heartbreaking stuff. Uh, two ends in a row. So, no, well, Blake's got to respond here. So. You've got to be marching white on that hand. It, it swoops. Uh, Look, cross, don't see where it lands. If you're in the around yep. the mark and you get a rub that goes your way, great. Obviously, yep. the guys don't celebrate it. but um, Well, it's nothing for narrow. Correct. Correct. I don't know who he slid off. I can't, I don't know whose bowl that was, but uh, not sure. Uh, right, Negris. Well, there's a little bit of speed beyond this. Not too much, but um, I think he's narrow, isn't he? He's. What's he knock up? Nothing. Actually, it was the bush bowl he came off. Um, so he could have hit that in it yep. also. Yeah, you know. Yep. All right. Draw another. Draw another and add to the pain, you know. It's a, it's enough that, you know, sometimes you need that momentum swing and oh. something goes your way and it adds a little bit of pain to the opposition. They stop and think for a second. And Look, if they turn the corner after 19-10-3 down, there's only seven exactly. shots behind. Right in the game. Hasn't gone anywhere. Has he got the speed here? He's not far away, I don't it's think. He's got a bite. It will bite He's at the end. He's not too far away. It will bite at the end. I think that's in. Yeah. That counts. Yeah, there was no value in playing for the blue because Absolutely. Clayton had a couple of se seconds there. Can't see Blake being too short here. No. Well, look who's bowls at the very back. Yeah. Vichy's. Yeah, that's right. So he'll he'll play for this. Every I, I know they've only got one in the head. Oh, I think I, mean, I think that bowl's fairly well safe. Right. He only has to yeah. play a couple of yards. It's nothing silly. He sees it a little bit differently. He's playing <laughs> a little sillier than you. you. He's close here. Nah, he's through the hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got the early call there. You did better than I did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, these greens, you add that weight, and although it's a sweeping Definitely. hand, they seem to just... To play, oh, I mean, I spent yeah. a lot of my time on carpet. Yeah. yeah. Two shots there to, to to Deer Park. Well, they turn the corner at. Uh, well, you know, it it changes the, co the the you know the, the overall of the game too. You've got um, you know one rink close and, and one pegging back with the other two fair out for Deer Park. So starts to put the pressure on. Yep. One to Clayton over on the Tayton rink there. Two to best up. That's two ends in a row. He's drawn yep. two together. Now, that changes uh, the dynamics of this game Correct. hugely. Yeah. Well, you know, you go from you go from your ten zip to all of a sudden, well, they're getting shots, and 
um, creates a little bit of concern. It's certainly tamed Blake a little bit. He's, he's, he's been quiet the last couple of events, hasn't been uh, uh, up and about too much. So. No. Brendan Elliott is a fan of yours. Is he? I don't have well, a couple know. of fans out there, maybe. On a... You're on just saying how me. great the setup is out here oh, and um, two cracking grand finals. Yeah, no, it is, it's certainly a great setting for bowls. And, um, the Daniel Club have done a, done a great job in presenting what they have here today for, yeah. for, um, for, their, for their club and also for you know all the, all the, all the people here today. We should be really proud. Certainly something we'd love to see at our club one day, but... Uh, We'd like to see more of it. Mm. Oh, I think it's a necessity. I think there's a real... You know, you can argue that um, it, it keeps the rain away, but there's also a value in sun protection yep. as well, you know? And it, that's something that's massive, I think, associated to lawn bowls over the years is, you know, we get out there and we light the brown up and, yep. and, and look nice and good, but uh, there's, there's danger coming to the sun. And there's yeah. often, you know, real protection and value from that, so... I mean, I'm a big, I, I, I am a big advocate of having our finals played outdoors and stuff like that. But nothing better than grass, you know. But unfortunately, this day is fixed. You can't do it another day. And if we got rained, you know, well, that's the that's the challenge, yeah. right? If you go out and you know we have a, have a rainy day, a windy rainy day, or something, and it's it does damage to the event. At least here, everyone knows what we've got set. We can come and sit and enjoy. And if it's you know. Hailing outside, then uh, so be it. We can still watch a good game of bowls. And you don't hear anyone grizzle about it. Everyone can have a different opinion. Oh, there's um, plenty. Of, there's plenty of opinions. Yep. I, saw, I saw it on the chat over the yep. last couple of weeks. But yep. um, for me, it's a more the variety of shots. I, I, I personally think that the leads and twos obviously set up the heads yep. better in here, yep. um, and it becomes a more predictable game. Well. Um, I mean, this, this surface seems pretty true from what I can yeah, see. You do get the odd yeah. carpet that'll get the odd run in it somewhere along the line. I yep. haven't seen anything of great evidence, evidence of that so far. But, um, you know, you, you find your, these guys, you find their weight fairly quickly. They're all over the jack and, and yep. setting up heads for the, the other boys to do damage at the back end. And you see that in the BPL. goes on up, up there. Completely, um, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, by, by the standard you see today, I don't think this, I think the biggest number I've seen is a four. I don't know if there was anything larger than that at any stage. I certainly saw a four. No, there was. Well, on there's the a, second rink was the, the, the get back. There's a the five in the Titan. Was there a five? The, was yeah. There? Right. Okay. Um, but again, in the game before too, other than the six yep. that Anthony dropped yep. in the first end. In the first end. Yep. You know, there wasn't much in it. Yep. And you'll see that. You know. Yep. So that's why when Mooney Valley got out to 20 shots, um, Essendon weren't getting back from there. It, it got to 20 and stayed at 20. And it then did. They, they'd, you know, could sort of get five, mm. five up more on that, get out to 25. Yeah. They'd drag it back, and it, it just stayed there for the rest of the day. Uh, too much firepower, I think, for Mooney Valley. Right across the board. Mm. Well, this is settling in to be a clinker. I mean, 34, 20, there's just five shots Tell in you it. Want it. It's how, yeah. it's how we want the end of yeah. our season, I think. Yeah. The last thing you want is a runaway game. and You know, we have to sit here and try and find something to talk about because someone's uh, done a bolt. Well, I'll, I'll ask you. I'll pick your brain because you're a very knowledgeable man. Yesterday's um, qualifying finals, yep. and how's that all shaped up for you with the uh, Prem 2? What do I think of the Prem yeah. 2? Oh, oh, I, think it, I think it has to happen. I think it had to happen, yeah. to be honest with you. You've got... You know, there's a bit of a gluttony of teams that had sat at that top end of Divi One yep. for so long without opportunity, and I think the, it, I think it's clear in the step going from Divi One to Premier League is a big leap, and you know, so not taking, not putting it against them, but you see Richmond Union got through, and you know, they, they did well with what they had and the players that they had on the yep. park, but the investment that goes into having a, you know, a Premier League side yeah. is huge. Whether that's all about money, but getting the right players in from the right areas and you know yep. not everyone has local feeder clubs no. or anything like that that can support a Premier League side so I think it has to happen it creates it creates it doesn't create a division it creates a clearer pathway right through to the top I just think another step it's a pathway isn't it yeah completely yeah completely I, I, I you know I look forward to it so hopefully uh, well if we didn't have it you know 
you, you wouldn't see the Essendon's playing at Correct. the top, you know, the, 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 what I'd consider the top level. Yep. Yep. Uh, those eight, two, eight, lots of eight yep. make up a 16 yep. top I'm, level I'm, group. Correct. Um, Lilydale's got in there now. Um, great to see Mooney Valley. They've been trying. Mooney, yeah, We'll see a bounce back from yep. last year. So they're going to now, they're one step closer. Um, and, of course, Danny Nog Club, this very venue, and um, Heathmont, who we know. Heathmont got through by a shot, I think, yeah, didn't they? Got, yeah. Apparently, it would have been, it was all tied up and... Yep. I think they said they played for the shot and gave yep. it away, but they could have gone to an extra end, but yeah, decided to, to have a go. deal with it there. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that would have been an interesting decision to, um, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, bird in the hand and I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to talk about last no. bowls, last shots? I've, nah, I've got a memory this year we know that I forget. Yeah, we know it's never the last <laughs> bowl. It's It could be the third bowl of the game. Yeah, that's right. You know. Oh, the, I mean... The, you know, we've, we've had that conversation over and over at Melton. You know, we, we, we got back to the last end and uh, didn't go our way, but there's plenty of shots that happened before that could have made a difference. So. And, of course, the other thing is Richmond Union and Mentone, who will come out of Premier, go back to a Premier Reserve. They've got, yep. a, they've got a second chance to just they re-G. Have. Yeah, they have. Rather than fall back into the pack. Correct. You know, yeah. and, and so it, it, for, for clubs like that, it gives them the ability to hold on to the talent that they've got and know that the step forward... Um, is a little it's bit close. easier than, than had to go back to the Divi 1. You know, I think um, there might have been Tony or someone said this morning, like, there's 40 clubs in Divi 1 that are all trying to feed into one that last 40. point to to get through to the you know the big dance. And so if that pathway, if that makes it a little bit easier for once you get into Divi 1 to have yep. your shot at Premier, you, you, I think you then know uh, if you win that Prem 2 or whatever they're yep. calling it these days, that you're ready to take the next step. Yeah. Rather than, you know... And the players coming to your club or, or the players that you've got know that, you know... Correct. That, that, you yeah. Know. And, of course, the competitive playing. Big ball by Snorkel. Wow. Yeah. He's played good. He's played some big oh, shots. He's as consistent as the days. I've known James for a while. I've had the pleasure of playing with him back yep. at Yarrow for Footscray yep. uh, a few years ago. and He's, he's an elite draw bowler. I bumped into the man at Yarrow yesterday having a little quiet lunch yep. between uh, him and uh, Chris and yep. uh, uh, Ray. Ray was out there too. Ray Kilda, and yep. uh, they just having, I think Dogs was meant to be there, but yep. uh, just having a little quiet away from everyone. Yep. Quiet. I thought, why aren't you having this deer park boys? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a nice, peaceful setting down at Yarraville. Yeah. Good feed as well. Yeah. Good yeah. setup down there. So get out there on next Friday night, and uh, the food's fantastic. Well, happy to uh, happy to partake. Yeah. Just one more thing we've got to fit into the schedule, though, Rixie. <laughs> I don't know what I've got on next Friday. I'm, I'm too scared to look. Yeah, no, nah, well, I'm, I'm definitely... Uh, I've, I've had a phone call and asked me to come down. I... I'm away in Brisbane all week for yeah. work, and I think I land at uh, quarter past four, and I've got to shoot straight from the airport over to the to the club. But look forward to it. Should great. be should be a great game. Who's holding here? Is that? Uh, it looks like it's one of the. It's, it's, it's well, it's one of those orange mandarin. Yeah, what, what? and I'd say it's Blake's bowl. He's he's got one to go. To tell, to be honest with you, we spent a lot of time just chatting to each other. You're not watching some <laughs> of the polls, mate. Well, as long as the viewers see it, and they're that's it, getting a lot of positive comments coming in about the work we've done this year and the production and Brad behind the scenes. Oh, it's a great effort, but you know. um, Bowls Vic should be extremely pr- uh, proud of themselves of the way they've conducted it and, and the support of the sponsors that go along with it. Oh, fantastic! Uh, uh, Moama Bowls Club have been a great supporter and. Uh, yep. We've got our big sponsors here, BCIB. Yep. Oh, That's two to two to Deer Park. There takes a break. What's that? Five ten, is it? Yeah. Momentum shift. Maybe it was that one bowl earlier that uh, it fell right. away, and it's it's it certainly turned it around. Deer Park out to a nine-shot lead. So there is dis- there has been discussion. Let's not the elephant in the room. There is discussion out there about money in in bowls. And mm-hmm. look, there's been money. You know, when I was running the club twenty years ago, there was money yep. back there in Premier League. Then it, it didn't yep. just happen with Deer Park or yep. anyone else. So um, I think 
uh, if you've got clubs and people, sponsors willing to spend money, Definitely. I don't think that's a bad, necessarily a bad thing for the game. Yeah, I mean, there's a balance in, in, in there for all, and obviously um, some clubs have, some have uh, access to greater funds than Absolutely. others. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, at the same time, if you have a, if you have a switched on board that, that focuses in the right areas, keeps their costs low, chases good sponsorship opportunity, there's opportunity for everyone. I've, I, you know, I've only just gone to Melton this year. I, I, as you know, I'd spent a number of years at Lara yeah. doing a number of roles there. And, and you know, we're paid players. So it's nothing hidden. And Lara played in the Geelong Premier League for, yep. for a long time. Um, and there's opportunities for all clubs. If they have a really proactive board and membership base that want to put time and effort in the ground, the club, the opportunities there for everyone. I know it's. I know some clubs probably have it a little bit tougher by location than others, but um, you know, you want to progress, you want to get somewhere. There's a balance in the argument for all. As long as you do it right and within your means and not putting your club in a challenging position. Yeah. And, uh, you got to you got to have some homegrown talent, of course, and that comes in every club. But, um, you know. And then you've got a Clayton, sensibly, on the other side, who yep. people say, well, they didn't have any fly-ins, and, you yep. know, Ali's oh, not counted as a fly-in. So. It's great. Yep. And it does show the other, um, I know from Yarraville Footscray, we're the same, we yep. don't have fly-ins, um, that you can make the final Completely. and maybe win it without bringing in, you know, the best Yarraville of the best. Yarraville definitely been, haven't been too far away. No. I mean, last year, though, you know, you were there right until that, that uh, doubleheader, yep. final doubleheader weekend. And, and this and this year, I think, that obviously, the Fitzroy Victoria loss didn't help. But, you, you know, you weren't far away. And you've got some good, strong local talent that yep. plays at the club in, in Pidge. And yep. obviously, wait. And, you know, you look at Deer Park, you, can, you know, you can argue that you've got um, hmm. Bester and, and Ingham and Sheriff at the club. But you still got James Pearce and J-Boy and... Chris Ball yeah. and, and, and Conor Maguire even, you know, as a young Larry fella Donahue, coming from Larry Donahue. You know, you know. Like bushy. Well, there were you know, a lot like of the boys a lot of boys I've been playing for yeah. the last sort of 10, 12 years down the Geelong League that have that have come up and, and stepped up. So And really, generally for our sport, what I want to see is club surviving. Correct. Um, games being played in good spirit and good rivalry. Yep. And um, if we can get the best players, and we've got people from Queensland, New South, West Australia, yep. England, watching our game. Correct. Well, I'm happy. Oh, look, I mean, you know, you know, uh, you, know I don't, you don't see a lot of bowls from a, uh, from around the world. I know New Zealand's pretty pretty prominent in their bowls, like, but I mean, the quality that we put out in the park and the vision that we're now providing, you know, sort of every year is only promoting our sport and making it bigger, better and stronger, you know. Do you watch much on TV, like the Queensland Bowls and stuff like that? Well, it's a bit of a tragic, to be honest with you, Gus. I get all the feeds, you know. I, I, was, I was talking to Jimmy about it a couple of weeks back, and, um, you know, I think we've got to get to a platform one day where we all feed into one. I think there's an opportunity yep. for that, you know, because I, I get a lot of the Tweed, the Gold Coast, and all that sort of stuff, Helensvale, um, with, with their feeds. I think there's an opportunity, Nation, Nationwide, that if we all fl- feed into one platform, you can almost build a, pro- yeah. you know, a full program. Where if you if you, you know, like us, a bit of a tragic around bowls, yeah. and you like sitting down watching it, um, feed into one spot. Yeah. It might might be some time away, but I certainly think there's an opportunity. If we get the right people. Maybe on. they call that spot YouTube. I don't know. That's where I, I watch most of my. Is that where you watch it? No, so I, Actually, I, I watch a lot of TV Facebook. on YouTube now. Do you? Just yeah. The ads, like you can just yep. Google what you want. If there was bowl, well, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big YouTuber to be so honest. So if you go to YouTube, yep. this is for our viewers out here. Yep. Just put in Bowls Vic 2022, yep. and it'll bring up all. Just bring up all the streams. Yeah, that have been going yeah. On. And there's just such a catalogue there now. Is there uh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I just um, learned something. Just so recently. yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I'm ever getting bored and I need my fix, turn into some bowls. Well, like I say, I get it on Facebook. Oh, that's a great bowl by Vici. What a cracker! Playing out of his skin. Yeah, he's having a good day. Certainly enjoys himself and likes to, to, to pump up the crowd a little bit. Well, you know, I'm really happy for someone like him because he's been around Clayton been for as long as, yep. you know, we were in Premier 10 years ago. I think we played our first game against him and yep. Ali and that. And, you know, they were state champions then. then and, yep. you know, we were Q and we weren't going to win a game and we beat them. And yeah, that's right. And yep. I still remember that, you know, as clearly as it was yesterday. And uh, he was there, you know, and he's still there. You know, good on him. Uh, he's been around a long time. Certainly, certainly there when I was I was playing the Arable Footscray, I remember, you know, he'd be up and about and 
not in your face so much, but um, he's passionate about the game, and that's what the that's what the game needs. Yeah. You need your characters, right? Oh yeah. He's probably settled down a bit now, like well, all of us. That all happens to all of us as we get a bit older, doesn't it? You just play, let your balls do the talk. You try to. <laughs> <laughs> so, five in it on this ring. I mean, done well. You know, done very well. Mm. Yeah, and certainly Ali's sort of drawn back on, on Sheriff over there, 13 8. Must have won the last few wins. Casey's just played a big boulder. Put the jack through the slot, but it's gone back to uh, Scotty Wiles. Yes. And you can see Deer Park's got out to a nine shot lead now. It's just opened up a little bit, and this is just the. That happened here. This is That's stopping right. the leaking, you know. Yeah, correct. Well, I mean, this so this is what was happening earlier, and but Clayton tightened it, it right up. And I guess this is this is the time when um, there's an opportunity for separation, or you know, or to have a close game. So, well, you know. you'll find with Deer Park because uh, looking at you know Melbourne's Deer Park, they all have the way they seem yep. to go. Uh, last year, I think Deer Park got away from Melbourne, yep. and then Melbourne caught them in Correct. the end. Yep. Um, maybe this is Deer Park's push. I think it's their time. It's, I think it's go time yep. right now. Toddy Simmons has played a big drive there to kill oh. the Jack. And right on cue. Just the best that does exactly the same thing. Didn't have a lot to look at, did he? Well, there was one bowl. Yeah. And that's as good as a ring. And that's as good as getting a shot, in Co my view. Completely. You know. Completely. I always say when you get one shot, they're not getting one, so it's worth two. Ones all day. You yeah. take you, you take 21 ones, wouldn't you? Yep. And the uh, Vic Open, you're heading off down there? I'm not this year. I might uh, I might head, head down on the weekend just to watch this year. But You um, can do that, jump in the car. It's yeah, not that far down it's, the not, road. it's not too far down the road. It's a nice patch. Nice patch of the world down there too. So... Um, no, I played. I played the Vic Open, the last one at Shepparton. Um, You know, it's, it, it's a bit of a challenge for me. I'm, I have a national role. I'm travelling yep. around all over the place, so to get the time off is a bit of a challenge. But certainly, I think in a year's time, for me, I'll go back yep. um, and, and enjoy and the spoils of, of what Gippsland's got to offer. And we're finding there's a lot of people who've just chosen to go to the pairs or yep. the triples. Or you don't have to do it all. Oh, they've done. The, I think yep. they've done the draw really well. Yeah, I was good. looking at that the other day. So you know, I think it was the triples that runs in. Over the weekend, you don't have to take yeah, one day off. Yeah, I think triples off. is Sunday and Sunday, Monday. Monday. So, yeah. so anyone who's working could take one day one off, day off and, and then come back play. and play in the final Correct. on the Saturday. Yeah, no, I think they've done that really well. Yeah, I think that works good. Yeah, no, maybe next year, but um, this is my first week open this year, which was a, obviously a bucket list item, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was a, it was a great time. Yeah. So I'll, uh, I've got the Australian Open on my, on my list to do at some point as well, so I've got to find the time for that too. Well, that's something you do. I've sort of just uh, I got my wife to come along last year. Yeah. And there's only one rule. We had an apartment. I could do whatever I wanted bowls-wise, but yeah. I didn't bring any bowls back to the apartment. <laughs> and it's not that my wife doesn't learn bowlers, but yeah. she wanted it. She, it's her holiday, and uh, we, I did some things that yeah. I just never do. Yeah, she wasn't right. there. Walks and yep. swims and... You well, know. I mean, you know, if I get to that point where my wife actually wants to come away on a bowls trip, I don't think I'll get her down the bowls too often. She's not the greatest. Uh, now, your wife greatest is the same as mine. Yeah, yeah, she enjoys other things, so that's okay. We all got to have our, our outs. But we had a great time. We were in, and this year we booked a first week at Burley, so we're going to oh, have nice. a week at Burley and yep. two weeks up at Broad. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And we just loved it so much. It was, if uh, only had the time, I'd come yeah. and join you. Yes. Yeah, one day it'll come soon. Well, don't not think too that far away from. Uh, don't think that when you retire, Anthony, you, <laughs> that you get any extra time. I, I'm as busy as what I was when I was working. Yeah, so. oh, look, I'm, not, I'm I'm about to turn 51. I'm not too far off the yep. retirement Good. thing, but um, oh, well, you just keep it in mind. Yeah, it'll, it'll it'll come. It's bushy got here. I'm on his paddock. Yeah, he's got a pretty good. His uh, speed's pretty good too. He, oh, he's just going to cut under. Two great balls, with Ryan. So Tim stepped up, Ryan's stepping up with him. He's going to now, you yep. know, start to put a bit of pressure on and just see if that can flow through the team. Hopefully, and, you know, we'll see. Uh, Roddy, what's Roddy? Roddy? Roddy will probably just draw the shot. He's played some good balls. Yeah, he has. He's on a nice hand there. It's a nice holding hand. He's got pretty good away. weight. He's close. Just He's going to just trail this on cue. Very good. It's like we wrote the script, isn't it? 
Well, three down, so I think he's one down. Yep. Still, but, um, you know, better, better position. Takes away some of the pain. Makes it a bit easier for the next guys on the mat. It's a confidence thing, these sort of things, too. Oh, it is. You know. There's nothing worse than when you're struggling in a game and you're just trying to find something it's and just you just can't. I mean, it's muscle memory, rhythm, emotion, isn't yep. it? And if, if you're not on and you're not feeling it, sometimes it's really hard to get back, you know. You know what you can do, you know what you're capable of, but some days it doesn't mesh for you. It doesn't it? happen. Like Australian cricket team, look at sometimes they <laughs> can't win and then, then they're champions. That's know? true. Well, they're doing okay where they, they are, are. in it, but it's uh, a tough place to win in India. Ooh. Kinda a bit surprised he changed his hand. Oh. I mean, well, he gets the, he gets the inside of yeah. the bowl and sits across onto their own, and they're, they're holding two. I mean, it doesn't look like I was going to push directly onto the kitty. Mm -hmm. It just would have made the next shot a bit easier. What's the reduction in percentage when you change hands on a shot? I don't know. I guess it dr drops, I think. Dramatically, I would have thought. It's all, once again, rhythm and motion, right? Yep. So it's a good pill there. Great home. That's probably just about in, that is. Yeah. It's two. Yep. I don't do a lot of skipping these days, but I definitely would have would have given him two go, a second go at that. Played it so well. Yeah, look, I mean, you know, uh, I spent a bit of time skipping. You try and keep them on the same hand where possible, yeah. where the opportunity is, but it's understanding their talent. And like the, the guys at this level, you know, should have the ability to change up or change over and be somewhere close to the mark anyway. So he has got here. Um, now he's speed. playing something. Tell you what. Oy. Good effort. Good effort. Not happy shaking there. Yeah, he probably thought that would have held and, and enough to get that. It's a little bit of a pep in the step. Oh, the, the speed Park was good boys. for that bowl. Yeah, he's not a bad home, though. Bit of protection yeah. on uh, Ryan's bowl, anyway. That speed still playing through. Blake had made the call, but Ellen's halfway down the rink. Right. Uh, still holding two. Seven shots overall. So Bushy owns the back, does he? He owns the back. That's definitely Bushy's pole at the back, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the call to Rod was he was trying to get around the back, give him something I don't to know. use. Before Elm started running down the rink there, Blake had said just play through it again. Right. But, um, I don't know. I, there's another shot. I mean, you, can play, you don't have to play a couple of yards into that and sit Ryan's bolt. He's going big, got, though, clearly. Yeah, well, and you know it, it does hold there, so. Uh, kill it and reset. No respot in this game. Uh, got it. Got All day. All day. Oh, Jeez. Sniff. Jeez. Oh. Bounced around there. Good close measure, I think. Yeah. Probably. Probably favour Bushes. Favour bowl. Bushes. Yeah. Although he's a bowl behind, he's just bowl closer in. Oh. How could that be? Well, it's, uh, it at was least Bushes bowl a little bit exp exposed. Hopefully, uh, Ryan can get something in here now and apply the pressure. He's got Chasing it. it. He likes it. It's open. He's got the he's got the two front bowls. He, he likes it. Uh, Gets down and it's in. Uh, no, just, just kicking through. Fell back in. Not maybe. a bad aim though. Mm -hmm. A bad aim. How do you rate your year as year of Footscray this year? How do you how oh. do you feel you came away with uh, where'd you finish on? Finished seventh. Seventh. Yep. Um, How do you feel the year went for the team? Well, we 
you know, we dropped a couple of games as we always do. Yep. You know, the first game against Clayton. Yep. You were up. You were up well up. Were you oh, right? our ring came off. We were 15, 16 shots up. Really? Yeah. And that's, what, you know, almost having a drink with Kelly. Yep. Thinking, and you know, we're fighting Home for the same the, spots. Yep. And, you know, yeah. and then having to shake a hand half yep. an hour later when they won. Yep. Um, it was a bit hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's, you know, that's what happens. A couple of the boys that I played with from down Geelong, Brendan Umbers and Brendan Anderson, how'd they go? What really was good. Like? Yeah, yeah. Beach, Beach uh, played in the club singles yep. against uh, Brett last week. Yep. And came second, yep. unfortunately. Close but, second. Yeah, I think that's it. You know, he'd be happy with the way his year went. And, and uh, Brendo, you know, really, I think once he realised how expansive yep. he could be, yep. you know, um, and not, probably... He probably was a bit conservative, if that's a, a word. I, I didn't know what his game was like before that. Yeah. But it's almost giving someone the licence to show their wares. Well, you know, you know it's a, I mean, the, these guys have spent a lot of time down Geelong. You know, they didn't spend any time in Metro no. at all. So there's a so transition they time no, there. They don't know what the game's like. And they come down to test themselves. So they, you know, and they probably takes a good... I mean, I know when I came down, it takes a good sort of six, yeah. seven games just to find the, the rhythm and the flow of the game. It's a little bit different than the way it's played down in Geelong, I think. Especially when you're exposed at the back end like that. Completely. Completely. You know, I think he did well. He I, did. I was, I, I I was pretty happy with him. Um, he was my skip for the last two years. Right. We, we had some pretty... Uh, successful years together. Yeah. They didn't lose too many games, but um, I thought he did really well, and I think they swapped him around. Last couple of games, yep. he had Beach yep. for his third yep. for a while, and yeah, ended there's up a bit, with bit, Hank, I think. Yeah, for, with for Hank. While. Yeah. Um, and sometimes finding the um, compatibility yep. um, in the teams, um, and obviously, you know, they're new guys, and uh, they fitted in so well, you know, like, the great thing about Ant Club is there's just no whispers. Yep. No one's whispering in the corner or anything like that. Everyone knows what they're part Completely. of. Completely. And you yeah. can see this. You look at the teams here yep. today and, and been successful yesterday. You know, um, you know, uh, you know, a club like um, Heathmont, yep. you know, it's an open ball. Yep. Everyone's there to do the same thing. You know? Correct. Yeah, no, no, 100% correct. Um, and that's the way it should be. It's a nice clubs to walk into. Yeah. Like oh, Mel... I, I, you know. A lot of time for Yarrow Footscray. Yeah. I, I left and went back to Lara, but um, as far as club goes, it's mm. you know great. Pe- there's great people down there. Yeah. Big bowl here, Blake. What do you get? Oh, he's just knocked in uh, one of the wing bowls, and um, that's um, his own. Or is it Veach's? Is it? No, that's um, Rodders. Rod Peterson's. Right. Okay. Took it in off the wing. Veach's got the Aussie one. Vizzy- he has. Yeah. Right? Bad call. Ten on the overall at the minute. It's a little bit of a climb. Let's um, see what this brings here. It's just the one. Just the one to Clayton there. Brings it back to nine shots. It's been uh, hovering around there for a little while. Certainly some changes on that Sheriff Rink. That's, uh, they were well in front, 13-3 uh, at one point. I'm not sure who got the shot there. Mr. Sheriff threw them at, so... I don't think they got it. No, they didn't. Clayton picks up that end. I'm not sure of the number. The fellow on the man, I can't remember his name. He, who's, who's that? Ca- is it Catterick? The, the, yes. The, the fellow the lead. for Clayton. Yep. Jimmy said last week he's something about a box of frogs. I don't know. It's one of the best terms I've heard in a while. <laughs> Jumps around like a box of frogs, something like that. He uh, had a good game. He did have a good game. Say that. Uh, the last, I mean, Scotty Bowles had a cracker as well, and, and, and Ali, Ali Forsyth's. Last six or seven ends were some of the best bowls uh, you've seen in a while. Really, really, really took the, took the game away from, from Melbourne in the end, Ellie. It's pretty impressive. So 
So we're nearly halfway through. Um, you know, the, the lead's never been more than 10. It's been fairly consistent back at eight at the minute. Um, two here, you know, back the other way and, uh, and so forth. Hopefully we, we have a nice tight finish. Maybe not as tight as uh, what last year was. It was yeah. certainly exciting. but um, That was exciting. Last pole stuff. Yeah, was yeah. Fantastic. Um, Clayton Holden over there. I think uh, Dylan just played a fair bowl on the Tate and Rink. And we, um, one or two over there. We do tend to get the tight ones on our stream drinks. It's been fairly consistent so, all year, hasn't it? Um, so I'm pitching that this is going to. This one will end up tight too. Yep. Hopefully, well, hopefully, that's what you want when you sit down to watch the box, isn't it? So. Just tracking on speed. Take the home though. It's a little bit of a looser end. I, first time I've said that in the game because the ends have been really good. <laughs> they have you know. been really good, yeah. Um, you do notice when they just spread out a little bit, don't you? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's all just gone a little bit quiet in here at the minute, so... Do so you know what? I, you're a carpet man. It's got a bit cooler. It certainly has got... It can it's, change it, It's interesting. It, I definitely know it, 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 at our home deck it changes with, yeah. uh, with, with heat and cool. Certainly, um, you know, if you get a little bit of dew on the green, I, I find it picks up a second without a, you know... Yeah. Too much of a thought. And it can but, catch um, you out, can't it? Completely, yeah, completely. Uh, I mean, I'd expect these guys are fairly well uh, versed in, in, in bowls and can and it, you know can adjust and manage. But um, it certainly has gotten a little bit cooler. I'm with you, and I'm Gus. Maybe maybe that's attributed to the uh, spread head. Yeah, well, it's like a disease that catches. Isn't it? <laughs> that does I mean, the be. leads have been on. Yep. And. Uh, so I'm just going to take her. I'm going to put Sophie on. No problem. Can you have all. a chat with Sophie? Yeah, sure, I, um, surely can. Put her on here. Sophie hey. Kersman. Oh, no, sir. Sophie Kersman, well, welcome to the chat. Oh, the Very go. good to be here. Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> been enjoying the enjoying the game? Very much so, actually. It's been very back and forth. Any particular rink you've been watching with uh, closely? Or? Well, I was on the other side, so yep. I was watching Omar's rink um, against Ali. So that Tighten was right up. Yeah, it has actually. He was out. I think he was out to a ten shot lead. Yeah, there it was thirteen point. three, and so Ali's got the next seven. So it's definitely yeah, tightening right. up down there. It was probably the rink I thought at the at the start of the day that would be just balanced all day. Didn't really think there was a lot in it. Obviously, Ali's been in great form, and so, and so is Omar. But um, I was saying earlier to Gus, I thought the two outside rinks would just hold a fairly yeah. even uh, keel, and the two in the middle would be where the game would be decided. So. Absolutely, you'd think like with the with the standard of some of these players, some games would be really tight. So yep. it's interesting to see some of the scores, but like we said, it is tightening up. So yeah. 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 We're just saying. We're just saying. This is probably the loosest, albeit it's not that bad, but the oh, loosest head say, we've yeah. seen here in a while. I've and seen some incredible shots from the other end. Oh, it's been amazing. Here. Yeah. Speaking of, there you go. Well, Feature's had a good day. Feature's had a very good day today. Great shot. He's done really well. I have seen a few pearlers from Nugget yeah. from the other side too. Yeah, so. that's true. Well, he'd be hoping to cut this back three down at the minute, so. Just going to get inside, maybe for th Good third for shot. Third, yeah. yeah. See what the big boys can do. Casey chasing one down over there. Just about a foot short. How was your year, bowls wise? Good, actually. Yeah, we had a. Um how did you finish at, uh, in pennant? We did well. We finished second on the ladder. Nice. Um, just got pipped in our first knockout to Kingsbury by one shot. It came down to the wire. Um, we had two rings up, two rings down. So overall, pretty good. Um, so we're staying in Div 1 next year, Excellent. which is very exciting. Got some more progress to come through. So very happy with the season and um, looking to see what we can improve for next year. And yeah. your year personally? Personally, you've had, you've had a fair have, bit on your calendar. I have had a, a lot on my calendar this year. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, I've done well personally this year. I'm quite yep. uh, quite content. Good. <laughs> um, oh, well, it's couple good. of good wins and yeah, one today, which was good. So nice. Um, yeah, no, doing pretty well. Just sort of trucking along. Good on you. That's good to see. That's good to see. Uh, Blake just sat outside of Nuggets bowling his first there. See what see what Ryan can produce here. He's too far away to be honest with you. So no, he hangs gets past that, that front. Bunch. Close. And good shot. shot. Oh, is he going to fall oh, right there? I think he might be holding. Close. Maybe still one to, to Allen, I think. Side ball. Certainly not as loud as did. We, did you get here earlier for any I of the Divi One game? I did. I watched the end of that game. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, when you get Mooney Valley, that there's going to be a bit of um, certainly a bit of fire noise. Up. So, yeah. yeah. Well Is done to them too. It was a really good game. Actually. It was a good game. Yeah. It was a good game. Like he's chasing it. How confident he is, though. He's got the weight. He's very close. He gets down. All day. Great ball. What a fantastic ball. Not sure if he moved it enough to, to retain two there. I think it might have just uh, moved it maybe an inch, half inch. I don't know if it brought in uh, Ryan's, Ryan's bowl there, but um, what a great bowl. like best to having last ball either. Oh, though, who so. would? Here we go, see what he's got. Oh, I think it might be a bit tight on this occasion. Yep. That's a B. Change some of that momentum there for the for the Cobras with, with Blake Nan drawing a beautiful shot there. Yeah. Uh, they were up, I think they were up 10-0, Sophie, and I then... I did uh, see that from the other side, actually, yeah. Yeah, the, the Deer Park boys had a little bit of luck and changed some of the momentum. I think it's still way too early to pick any sort of uh, easy win at the moment, so... It's got two shots to... Uh, two to Clayton there. Bend. Changes it again, brings it back, tightens it up. Brings it back to that nine-shot margin overall. That's where the game's sort of been at for the last half an hour, I guess. So. Yeah. Just starting to cool up a little bit. It is. Sun sort of dipped away. You can feel the breeze a touch. It's not too heavy, but uh, we're in shorts probably <laughs> wasn't the right time. <laughs> well, it wasn't the right thing for this time. No. So. It's cool it over the other side, though. <laughs> What does the next few months look like for you? Is it uh, do you go into hibernation or do you, oh, definitely you got some not. state stuff on? Yeah, or? a little bit of here and there. Um, we've got uh, we've got region stuff on the calendar. We've got um, city versus country on the calendar, um, and obviously from there, when the state teams are picked, yep. um, you know, whoever's whatever, in obviously whatever. has yep. the couple of tests and nationals. So bowls is sort of all year round. It yeah, um, right. Doesn't really stop at all. Don't get much time to think about no, it. Obviously, tournaments and everything. Um, yeah, it's Here's busy. <laughs> uh, and you're playing uh, Vic Open. Yes, I am. That's actually that. I should have said that first because that's that's, that's uh, only just under two weeks away. So. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And in in all disciplines, or just yes, picking on one in particular. Playing or? all. I've got a few. I've got a couple of fly-ins for myself this year. Nice. <laughs> this one. Um, a couple of my friends are flying from where they live to come and play with me, so I mean, I mean everything with yep. pretty good teams. So oh, that's good. Hopefully, a good little, um, good week. Yep. No worries. We wish you all the best with that. Thank you. Back to the bowls. Looks like uh, Ryan put in a couple of good starters. Yeah. Not sure on that. Um, Won't be far with this one either. Good bowl, it's very good. Change, change. Well, changing it, moving the jack. That's one of the challenges in bowls. And 
I certainly think these guys do that really well. No way to get um, get rhythm, you know, if you keep moving the jack and pushing around all over the place. So these guys do that really well. Bushy's got a good track here. Good shot. Just over on speed, but the track right. I'm not sure on that Ryan Tate and Rink, who's... I can certainly see two of J-Boy's bowls. I don't know who that bowl is just on the other side of Jack. Is um, that, does it look like a Deer Park sticker from here or is it a Clayton sticker? I know it's not Radars. It's a good chance it could be their leads. And I'm blank on his name. but he's Connor? That, yeah, Connor, right, Connor, that's yep. right. And I'm pretty sure he's got black ones and they've got orange speckles through them and he's been on the Jack the yeah, whole game. Okay. So well, I'm assuming that would be his. There's a couple there for Deer Park. They get that in right. Just a bit wide there, Bushy. Speed was really good. Yeah. Just over Jack High. Well, the uh, wide head as well. Maybe it is that weather change that's um, changed the speed up. Or, or bowls holding a little have. bit. Just a slight lull here at the minute. It's all a little bit quiet. It is at the moment. I'm waiting for tits. someone to someone play Someone to well. come out with something big. You've got Casey over yeah, there. He's say, chasing could be down. from Casey over the <laughs> other side, to be honest. He's looking at it. Big bowl by Vici again. Jeez, he's had a good day. Stiff on the result, but... Um, Once again, just change it up. Yeah. He's had a great day. Driving. Oh, he's missed a lot there. I don't know what uh, Mr. Tate looks relatively happy with himself. There's two that come out. Three. Three to Deer Park on the Ryan Tate rink. Yeah, that rink's jumped away a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's not far away here. Is he underneath on the Jack? Just the one. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate the positive comments. Hope you're having a good day. You won club pairs. I did, today. yeah, that was my win today. That was your win today. <laughs> it was, yeah, I played with Emily Davies. Yeah. Um, and we had a we had a good win. It was a good tussle. Um, bit of back and forth and yep. got over the line. Nice. It's a nice long game of eighteen ends walking pairs, so Oh really? Yeah. So you finished that then scooted and then straight scooted there. Scooted straight from Sun Brita here, yeah. Just around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Closer you, than Ballarat. <laughs> you'd have been used to that, wouldn't you? Didn't you have a, some some travel this year that was a little bit oh, tough? I've for done, you guys? I've done we've done a lot. Um, yeah. Our section we had a bit of travel. We had you to go did. to Lilydale. That's right. Um, but you'd be used to it. Today would just be a walk in the park yes, and then the well, from Sunbury to here it was very cruisy. <laughs> from Ballarat to here it's not as cruisy. So yeah, I'm glad I sort of had the pit had the pit stop in between. Yep. Oh well done. Thank you. Is that I'm assuming you've got a few club titles to your name? I actually don't. That's These your first my, one? Well, I've got, I won my singles last week yep. and that was my first club championship. I've got a couple well of runners up. Um, COVID didn't help with that. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, got my first singles and then this is my second officially. So Outstanding. Well yeah, done. Thank Congratulations. You. Brandon Marsh, you asked, will Geelong go back to four rinks next year? I don't know. Playing Geelong. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think it's been a fairly successful year. I watched the live stream yesterday with the preliminary final. I don't know. I don't know enough about uh, what goes on Geelong today. Geelong but 
My only experience with the Geelong region was when it was joined in the Premier with Ballarat. With Ballarat. So, um, yeah, not too much knowledge mm. there, but um, I think Three Rinks works for sort of some country regions, so there's a fair chance they'll leave it. Well, I don't, I don't think one year is going to um, is going to change it too much. You know, I think mm. uh, you've got to try it for a couple of years and see how it works. But I don't know. Maybe there's someone else in the chat that knows more. Simmons lining up. He's a few down, I think. He's been deadly today. Oh! Some of the stuff I've seen him pull out has been yep. insane from the other end. You can't help but watch when they're screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly makes it exciting. He's a fella to do that, Mr. Dan. He gets this right. and uh, Big fist bump. He's not far oh, away, yeah. He's got it, I think. He's got it all day. And the jack. Very good day. Great shot. Hugs all around for the boys and the fives to go with it. He's an emotional character. I watched him a bit at the Vic Open. I was yes. talking earlier. He's uh, certainly taken some of the heat off Valley and uh, taken some of the attention. He is a um, very heart and soul player. Yeah, Blake. he's colourful. Puts colourful his all character. into it for sure. Well... Let's just say that it's an easy draw for Mr. Best. He's got to get about a foot off the, the ditch to draw a shot. And he's running right behind it. I don't know that he loves it, though. I think it's there. I think he needs to run a little bit more. Just a bit more. Maybe enough. Yeah, that's close. Maybe enough. The Clayton boys are clapping for two here, so... Oh, it's very deceiving on our screen. <laughs> there you go. Clayton. The Clayton crowd get up behind us. Nice and loud. Okay. Drags the overall back to eight again. Keep it nice and tight. Ricky O. Yep, he is playing well. He's had a good day. He's had a very good day. Well supported too by the guys in front of him as well. Just found some balance. He was out 10 zip, and then uh, the boys from Deer Park caught up a bit and um, got back to 10-5. Yeah. And, and, and he's playing out another five from there. He's done really well. Good momentum for the Cobblers today. Far away here, Ryan. No, very Just close. Catch the jack on the way through. Very good. Good shot. <laughs> what's your thoughts, Sophie? Gus asked me a little bit earlier. What's your thoughts on the new uh, Premier League and Prem 2 and all that sort of stuff? Um, what do you think of it? I honestly don't mind the concept. I've found for the past couple of years in Metro, um, obviously it's very hard to break into Premier. So yep. um, I think having that just second level of Premier gives another yep. sort of level of depth into a sort of pathway that some clubs can get to first before they can crack into Premier. So yep. great shot there. Great ball. Yeah. Great ball. Um, I do like the idea of it because I think you'll see a couple of different lineups instead yep. of the regulars that you see in Div 1. Yep. So, um, obviously, the winners of the Div 1 sections that have already gone up, yep. um, they'll probably be, but, you know, they'll have some new teams to play against win in the, obviously, the two teams that fell from Premier. Yep. And I just think it's a good sort of concept. I know there was mixed feelings about it, but yep. um, I, don't, I don't mind it. No, it's good. Oh, well, it certainly gives those sides that they're in the Prem 2 a chance to build towards Premier League as well. Mm. You know, it's a, it, it's not always just an all-in affair once you get from Divi 1. You know, you see some of the clubs that have gone up and then shoot straight back yeah. out. Exactly um, right. At least uh, it gives them a chance to build something to exactly. get up into that Premier League. Yeah. To and from, from the leads and seconds here. Yeah. Um, 
Back to six. Ali's caught right up. He's uh, 14, uh, 14, 13 down. It's, uh, it's a big comeback. Another good ball here. Gets the result. Gets the speed was really good. Leading by Tommy Hicks as well. He's had a good year, he Tommy Hicks. He has had a good year yeah. from what I've seen, and today he's, he's been no different. Bushy's close here. Not shy, that's for sure. Not and gets the result. Great ball. For playing a lot of years in Geelong, unfortunately, he's done that to me too many times. <laughs> I'll celebrate with him now, but I've been dirty on him so many times before. He, he is a um, very great player. So I think mm. second is actually not a bad posse for him. Oh, it's a, um, it's a luxury in any side having Nathan Bush playing oh, too. Oh, absolutely. Jackson, yep. Cobras are doing really well. It's uh, seven in it at the minute on the main board. Um, Two ball here. Nugget would be wanting to sort of make this head a little bit prettier. Um, that Jack is very exposed. Yeah, and certainly an well, certainly an opportunity to uh, if he gets it to the right spot um, to put the pressure on the cobras here. Tuck it in and hide it. He's not too far away. Tracks good. That's going to hold the line. Not, bad, not a bad idea having one sort of gave it every shake. Yeah, well, I don't think Clay Clayton haven't got anything behind the jack. No. So. Well, the noise is back in the game. That's for it sure. Is. Starting to heat up across all rinks. Six shot margin overall to Deer Park. He's just drawn two inside a foot on the far rink there. Disco is chasing his on the next rink. You don't see him run that quick too often. Oh, good shot. Good result. Played, bit of, played a bit with Chris. He's not that quick, really. <laughs> <laughs> Just the speed, I think. Not oh, no. up, in he comes. Down. Mm. Hard to see how the angle he's over. I think it it's is, definitely yeah. one. I don't know if it's anything more than that. Potential. Not sure who's got that shot over on the, the sheriff rink at the yeah. front. I. That's. Uh, well, I think they might that's have. Kobe's bowl at the yeah, front, I is. think. And then that sheriff's and that white one is Tim's. So there's a, a good well, chance they have three over there. There's a couple from Casey there as well. Yeah. Might even be more than around, that. Yeah. Big bowl coming up for Ali. That's for sure.
has added anything, so it's definitely two or three at the minute with the uh, Damard have last bowl. Could be an opportunity back on that end rink for him to uh, extend that lead. Yeah. Got his trot on, you know, he's got a good one when he's jogging <laughs> after it with Omar. Oh, it doesn't look like he's far away, it's for sure. He's celebrating it early, he's in. Good shot. Full count, full, oh, sorry, full count. Mm. Handful, I should have said. A handful, handful yeah. Handful to, to Omar over there. Um, that certainly pushed that pushes it back out to an 11 shot over a lead. Bit of noise in the house for a change. Stepped it up a bit. Boys are all happy. Quick there for Blake. Good paddock, just the speed. My, maybe second. I think he oh, might I have think cut it down. I think it's definitely second. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I think it's definitely second. Far away, gets inside the man bowl and it counts. It's two. Back on the board. It's definitely two, I think. Park boys here. It's seven across two rinks. A bit of a change. Absolutely. We've got the Deer Park crew behind. Signs and everything. Fear the deer. Yeah, I haven't seen that at a bowls game too often. To <laughs> no, no not the banners. <laughs> Back out to 13 shots to Deer Park overall, so... Well, it's getting, uh, getting into that second half, or, you know, second half of the game. Yeah. And my, my momentum Pointy shifts end. are huge. Absolutely. J-Boys just played a pretty good Push bowl out as well. Roll Kelly's bowl out for... James Pearce has played an absolute cracker to get through for shot. Exactly. <laughs> Boys are all, I haven't seen James jump like that before. <laughs> <laughs> Snorkel is quite a reserved man, yeah, oh, so very. it's funny to see him get up and about. Just falling short there with that one. Yep, see it goes, Snorkel. And swinging rounds, well played. Good home. Short the other is there. It's just the one. Two. Chris holds up the finger for two. There's definitely a momentum shift in this game at the minute. Absolutely. It's uh, three uh, three of the Deer Park rinks definitely up. I'm sure uh, Ryan went on the last one. The ascendancy certainly with Ryan. Sixty to forty-four, so it's. Uh, yeah. I think that's the biggest lead of the game. I was just about so to far. say, sixteen seems to be the biggest number we've seen. Good shot, Bushy. Half a foot shorter, Jack. Great shot. Yeah, I wouldn't write Clayton off just yet, though. We've seen them creep back a couple of times. I think they'll probably tighten it up Definitely again. Definitely right there. There was, I mean, some times earlier where I thought it was, you know, it was going to go straight away, and then they, they, they pegged it back. Yeah. A 
not as much of a fan of that one by his no, face there. The facial expression wasn't the greatest, but he's um, a bit wider and a bit. Oh, he's not all that far away. Just yeah. a bit over. The perfection. Got a little collection happen. back there, they do. <laughs> they got a couple of catches. Well, his, uh, his first bowl's in the best position to be able to push that jack back Absolutely. if something happens. So it's the cover you want. I think he's going to duck under again there. No change. Not a bad home to be, though. Oh, the speed's been generally pretty good from yeah. all players all day. Um. Yeah, Brendan, it is a great uh, grand final. It's exactly how you want it with the the you know the two uh, teams that have had standout final series that are here today. They're both doing a great job. And Absolutely entertaining the the. Mass of people that are here um, at the Daniel Club that uh, have put on a great day for everyone. Certainly, certainly is a great setup. And a great He'd be turnout. used to a great setup. Sunbury's a fair setup. <laughs> oh, Sunbury is a fair setup. Yeah. We um, we love our facilities down there. Very similar to Danny Nong. Yep. Um, with you know the sort of kiosk bar yep. sort of behind us and nice viewing areas and mm. good food. Well, food's always a must. Oh, Sophie. has to be. <laughs> Can't have a good bowls club with yeah, good, good food. food exactly right. Got the speed. Yeah, it's not far. Not far away. away yeah. He's uh, gets a little rub and tickle. Yeah, and actually, not a bad be head there for Clayton. A couple of moves to be on. Amar's definitely holding one, maybe two over there. Yeah. Just put the ball in the head at a distance. Yep, he sat through. He's probably. I think it might be three. He shots over there, so. It is hard to see for three yeah. legs, but that does seem to be the case. Well, he's still got two bowls to come. I'm sure he won't leave it that way. So. Absolutely. up a one. Um, Mark, Sean Ingham is playing third for best star. Um, both play together at Broad Beach up in Queensland. Big ball um, from Ellie. So they are familiar with each other. They do play together. I think they've flown in all season together. They, they have, they? yeah. They flew in this morning, I heard, very early. Yeah. They've certainly played a fair majority of the season, I think. They have played a fair chunk. A lot of um, the Premier Flyers this year did have a, mm. a fair crack at a, a couple of games. Or well, even in the game before, we did see um, a couple of the Tassie boys playing Shinji for and both yep. Essendon and Mooney Valley. Yep. Um, and they played their fair share of games too, so that was quite good to see. Oh, it just makes for a greater comp, you know. I don't yeah. I think... Uh, Victorian uh, bowls has moved ahead leaps and bounds again in the last couple of years and with these fly-ins. Homo's just drawn with an absolute ditch. <laughs> what a shot. There we go, Blake Nairn's up and about two. <laughs> it's all happening here. It's all happening. The, the talent, the cream rises to the top when you need it most, that's for sure.
doesn't like it, Mr. Bester. No, he did, and then he didn't. Yeah, no, nah, only got the speed. Well short. Oh, it's at two, I think. Three at the minute. Oh. One more to Mr. come, Mr. yeah. Well, fair to say that. Uh, Oh my goodness. Ali has just had absolutely zero luck with did that Did he just, uh, I think he just knocked um, Omar's second bowl in. He did, yep. Right to the ditch and it didn't happen to even fall in. He just caught one though. It's interesting. Maybe it was, oh, maybe not. It's Blake. He's definitely kept it wide. I don't know if I like his speed either. No, he's not no. there either. Well, two come out, that's for sure. I think the third comes out. No. Three it is. Three it is to, to the Cobblers. They definitely needed that. Trims, drags a margin back to 13. Keeps them well in the game. It'll be 55, 56 ends. There's plenty of time. It is definitely not over. We're still in the third quarter, and we all know the third quarter is the Premiership quarter. The Premiership so. quarter? Right. Well, like your footy, Soph. I do like my footy. Who do you barrack for? Uh, barrack for the Cats, so I was a very happy fan. Yeah, rightio. Okay. <laughs> You're not from down that way. How'd you let you on to the no, Cats? No, all my dad's family is from that side, oh, so okay. I sort of followed dad, and then yep. the rest of my two brothers and I did. And the only one in our family that doesn't go for the Cats is mum. She's a Hawthorne fan. So. Right. I wasn't lucky enough to choose the right club when no. I was younger and I followed St Kilda. Oh dear. Much, much to sing about oh over dear. the years, but anyway. <laughs> we stick true. Nice start, start there. Yeah, very good ball. Hello, Mick. I've just seen your comment. <laughs> Mickey West. Westy. One of the good blokes. He's a lovely man, Mick. He's a lovely man. Can't say that too many times. <laughs> Outstanding leading. Great leading. Good bowls. Tight with this one. Weight was really good though. Good effort. Hello, Gus. Hi, Sophie. You're back. Hey, how are you going? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Good. Just had a little nourishment break. <laughs> very good idea. You don't realise till you step away how. how Parched you are. Yeah, and just how Food intense wise. the whole thing. And then I've just been watching in with the crowd and that Deer Park surge. Mm -hmm. And then Clayton have hit back a little bit. So it's all, that's great. It is. It's been very um, back and forth. We were talking about this before. And we've got back, it did get out to 16 overall and it's back to 13. So but I think 13 is manageable. It was I think 13 is very ugly. manageable. But um, that's manageable. I think we've still got a, a close game on our hands. Absolutely. How well's Blake great shot, she? this ring that we're oh, standing? Oh, great. Fantastic. You know, what a good game. It really has been. Great shot from yeah, Todd, Todd Simmons. Played a great shot. He's had a fantastic game today. Clayton knew that another ring had to stand. It can't be all about Ali. Another ring had to stand up. And um, Blake's ring's done that really well. Um, Roddy Peterson and that. Um, the four of them have been great. Mm. And there hasn't been much between the rinks, really, no. other than I think Blake's just kind of got the better of Bester today. And he, I mean, you see Ryan bowl all the time and how well he bowls. He's a fantastic you just can't, bowler. You, don't, you just can't do it every day, <laughs> you know. That is the game, and it's uh, mm. you wish you could, but sometimes it just doesn't go your way. No, and that's how I felt with Ryan. That's, that's been his day today. Yeah. Well, 
I think we've probably got another hour, an hour and a half to go, and it's uh, it's uh, there's a few more t twists and turns. Oh, I absolutely. Think, to come. And you won a game this morning. I did, yes. We were talking about this before. Yep. I won the pairs this morning. I'm oh, well, well done, very yeah. pleased with that myself and Emma. How many Davies. pairs have you won now? Um, I actually just said to Briggsy, these have been my, this and the singles have actually been my first two wins. Okay. My first two club For championships. Yeah. 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 Good. Obviously different other <laughs> yeah. other different achievements. Yeah. But yeah, it just never happened to crack a um, a club game. I've made I love a, the pairs. I do love pairs is one of my favorite. Yeah. I think it has to be my favourite format. Pairs and mixed pairs are my You're favorite. With you, mate. Yep. And to me, um, I won one at uh, with Tom Ristick at MCC and you know, it's probably one of the most satisfying mm. things. And we tried for three or four years to get mm -hmm. it and kept missing, and then we got it. And uh, it was a great feeling. It is. Mm. Nice to see your name on the board. Is that exactly right, yeah. As I said, I made a couple of finals and just never had the luck, and then COVID hit, so that ruined two of my finals that I was in. Right. And then, um, yeah, it's sort of finally my time to, <laughs> to, get a, to get a win. If you hang around long enough, so. <laughs> If you play for long enough, you're bound to win something. Well, it has a habit. <laughs> of course, the harder you work, the better you play, of course. Ryan Tate looks like he's having a good day over there too. Honestly, he has played some absolute rippers. There was one end where you could see them all crouching over. They couldn't tell which ball was shot. I'm pretty sure they were very close to both touching. And uh, Ryan had last ball and he somehow made three out of it. So Wow. Just one of those days for him. Well, it is now perfect conditions uh, outside. The sun's trying to go down. And yes. The lights have come up and there's very little wind. Uh, quite a nice temperature. It is a little bit little bit chilly, yeah. but manageable. I have to I have to put my jumper on. Here, so. <laughs> How are our guys out there going? Still got someone watching? Yeah, there'll be some happy people and some sad people tonight. I, I, I think so. Just saw Thor Shannon from the Essendon yes. Club. And, you know, they're pretty philosophical yeah. about that. They they uh, were hit by a very hard team today. Uh, uh, Mooney Valley has been a couple of years in the making for yeah, that one. And they've been, their determination yeah. has been unmatched this year. They've just got, they've, they had the attitude to win. And I don't think they were going to settle for anything less. So no, they were not. They them. were not le coming out of here without a title. No. Yeah. Would you want to be playing them next Friday? Um, if I was Fitzroy, I'd be a little bit concerned <laughs> after a win like that. But um, Fitzroy's a good side in itself, and some of the games could, I've could seen. You, in could the you last argue thing. and say maybe they just played their grand final? <laughs> that, that sort of talk. Honestly, something. Yeah, maybe. But um, yeah, I think if Mooney Valley. Um, you're going to win that. They're going to not stop there. They'll want to go all the way. So. I think Mooney Valley now know that they're good enough to oh, play yeah. Premier League. Yeah. So why not just go there today than wait till next exactly. year? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. But then Fitzroy got to have something to say about it. I'm oh, 100%. You. I think they've got a little bit of fire in the belly after, you know, well, they finishing so in that hard. position. Like, like Mooney Valley, they worked very, very hard to get where they are. Absolutely. They had a very good year, and in any other year, they'd still be in Premier League. So, um, exactly right. Very deserved. Uh, time off over winter? No, I was just saying to Briggsy, um, non stop. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't stop. It's all around the clock for me. It's crazy. Um, we had to do our calendars uh, recently, and um, yeah, mine's looking pretty full, so. Good. Oh. Big open first yeah. and uh, everything after that. So, that's, a, yeah. that's something good to look forward to, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. The Vico, I'm interested to see how it's going to go in Trelogan. It's yep. going to be, I've never actually played anywhere near Trelogan, right. so. Oh, well, you'll love there in Yeah, They've I was going to say, fantastic. their facilities look incredible, so hopefully a good cup, uh, just over a week, I think it goes for, hopefully a good week. Do you like the scheduling? I don't mind it, actually. Um, I sort of like that you do, you know, you two, days. two days every event. Break. Yeah. Can go back to Melbourne if you need to. Yes. You know. Yeah. Have you got work? You? Um, I do. I do, but I've been able to get it off. Thank goodness. I've got very lovely employers. So, um, between that and uni, 
I'll be uh, doing a bit of study while I'm away, I think. <laughs> okay. They're going back. They just want more ends in this game, and we do too. So this is good because this starts to put this rink behind the others because we never want our rink to finish first. Just seen Andrea comment the Victoria Bowling Club beat BMS today in Ballarat. That's a very good win, Andrea. Yeah. Andrew is my fellow Ballarat person. One shot, I think. Um, yeah, well, that sounds about right. Some of the um, some of the games I've heard the results from. Uh, Bendigo, down Bendigo way. East was one shot. Yes, yeah. I did see that actually. Sent that. There's been a couple of good wins. Yeah, the Vic Open and our great sponsors down there, the Terralgan, uh, uh, La Trobe City and Gippsland, uh, great support of this event. It wouldn't happen without them. So mm, absolutely. very happy to look up with them this year for the next couple of years. Like all our sponsors, BCRD and uh, Moama, Danny Knoll. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do it without them. So I always get confused with the score. I love their scoreboards here. Yes. But you've got orange and blue on the <laughs> individual numbers and then blue and green on the main board. Yes. I'm sure it's just to make um, things hard for me. Oh, I, th I think they're trying to trying to trick us. Yeah. I've said to Tony, and I'm pretty sure I said it last year. Obviously, no one listens to me. <laughs> I want to see um, coloured, you know, red and green stickers or just block stickers yeah. on, on our bowls. Yeah. Um, for the finals. Well, these both are yellow too. These stickers, yeah, which doesn't it's, help. It's it's very difficult. So I'm going to make a mental note. Block. <laughs> block colours next year and they can all use them. Or we can get uh, Henselite to supply all our Premier League sides, Division <laughs> 1 sides, with club, I've just bought some club coloured doggies oh, bowls. Oh, nice, yes. Yeah, which they look very good. So, uh, yeah, I think three of us have got them now. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Deer Park had um, yellow and blue sets made. They did, because I know um, I played a tournament with Mark Casey when he was using them. Mm -hmm. And they looked really cool. They had a, a deer as the logo, and they were they were half navy, half yellow. Hensel do good work. Yep, very good. Yeah, they look fabulous. Of course, everyone doesn't want to bowl with the, the flickering. No. Um, good shot. Great bowl. He's really I've been very impressed with Rodders today. Yeah. He's had a very good year. Bushy's looking at this. It does get down from there. Swinging. It's close. Got it. Oh. Not quite enough. So we're at 15 shots. It's the, the it's not growing, but they're not eating, eating their way into it. No. Back to 15 overall, so. I'm coming down to your club next week. Oh, you are? For the uh, Gaia Falls. Oh, yes. Ronnie Gaia Falls. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I am entered in that. Yeah, good. Oh, I've well, got I'll myself see. a good side, but is it, it is. Is it full? Um, no, I think we've got a couple of spots left, so if anyone would like a, a game next Sunday. Um, down at Sunbury, we've got our, a really, really good fours tournament on. So it's very um, special, isn't it? Um, it is. Are they streaming anything from down there? Um, there is a good chance that there might be a couple of games streamed. Yeah. We have the the wire that goes top, uh, across That's our right. green. That's right. Yeah. So we get the the overview. Which I is think really last good. year I missed out on getting a team, and then I ended up going down and commentating for the day. It's a good way to spend eight hours of your. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's hard work, uh, but it was great. Yeah, they no, streamed all the games. That's happening more and more in clubs too. Yeah, um, it is. We went uh, down to Somerville mm -hmm. tournament down there and stream rink, and we got put on that. And you're like, oh, that's a great innovation for for clubs. It is. How's this one travelling? Pace looks good. They do turn. 
He's just trying to get to the blue. He's close. He's sharp. I think he's just made five there. He's just played all sorts of He's just he played such I've seen great those green ball. balls around the, the yeah. jack the whole time. Yeah. So, I've, yeah, that, that is definitely... I think it's five. Yeah. 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 Blake just indicated five. See what Nugget can produce with this one. He's has he got some big. balls to run into? He has. Got a bit of a wall to hit. He's Could just veer off like that. Cleared a couple, so mm. five to three. Mm. I like the way Blake's, Blake's gone about as a skipper today. Uh, I haven't watched him play a lot of pennant other than I played against him twice. Uh, but he's been very measured and uh, he's very comfortable with the three guys he's playing with, trusts them, mm -hmm. um, knows what they can do, um, doesn't try and complicate it. And is, um, you know, I think just concentrated on his bowls today. Yep. Definitely. Veach is playing like it's his last game. I don't know, <laughs> he's, he's something, you know. Do you ever see that movie Caddyshack or are you... No, I haven't. <laughs> and they had a scene where they had a vicar playing this game out in the, with the wind and the rain, and he like kind of sold his soul to the devil <laughs> just to play the best game of golf he could. And they're like, "Do you want to go on?" And he's like, yeah. "Yes." And it, it's a cyclone. Well, this is the cyclone <laughs> we're in, and Veach is the the vicar. I think he's just playing just uh, out of his skin. So Nugget opened up the head with his first bowl, so he's yep. got half a chance to draw here, and he's not on a bad track. They don't we know mind they swing it. from there. I like it. Just needs to, needs to get lucky. Just well, that's. Through. May have, oh, I think he cut out that back bowl, so I think he's reduced it back to maybe two. Yep. Maybe one. Yeah. Just one. Yep. A very ho ho one. <laughs> when he had a five. I did see that. Yeah. The little yeah. flick. Yeah, little. Still, ones are moving in the right, the right direction. Exactly right. I think yeah. they'd like to see multiples, though. Mm -hmm. So 61 ends to 71 ends. Once you get in the 70s, you start yeah. to think the game's getting near the end. Yes. So they want to make their move in these next 10 ends. I did say once we hit 63, then we are in the last quarter of the game. Okay. So still a little while to go. Oh, I still wouldn't pick a winner as of yet. Yeah. Blake will back himself to draw this. You've played here a bit. I have played yeah. here a bit, yeah. So it's a nice turning hand. It is, He looks yeah. a bit out, me. Damn, I think, oh, well, it came back, I think it was just his weight. Heavy. There it is, look, came back right to where, yep. right to where the jack's in line. We were talking about um, carpet greens and how they can have in, an inside line and an outside line, you know, with the line where the people walk. Yep. And then outside that where it's a bit fresher. You can get your bowl out there and you can get yeah. up to turn. Yep. Um, Good shot, Vesta. Well played. Which makes the carpets a bit more forgiving if you've yeah. got your weight right. Um, <laughs> Kelly, Clayton get one over there on on the Dylan Bremel rink. So that's good, he's moving in the right direction. I mean, he just needs to get to, like, I, I reckon at this stage, the 14th in, they want to aim to get to about 14 or 15 themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And maybe double their score. Absolutely. Um, in the last six ends. Uh, that would be a great result uh, for the overall for Clayton. Looking around, there's no sense of, I don't see anyone's eyes that they're beaten or they've won. Mm -hmm. I, think yeah. I think the jury's still out. Absolutely.
Peace, peace streak is done well. They have, yeah. It's been, it's been interesting. There's been runs of ends in, in the game. Been, yeah. Where one side's dominated and the other side, you know, like what happened at the start of uh, this, this our game, I think it's 10 love up. Yes. So they still largely maintain that gap. I mean, yep. that's that's what Blake had to do. We're back to 12 overall, so. Yep. Far from over. I think 10's a good number to yep. jump from. Absolutely, yep. Because uh, it got out to, got out to 15, didn't it? Close, very close. Oh, he fell the wrong way. Fell the wrong way, way. yeah. Ryan's a, um, a, he can't hold him back, I don't think. There'll be some way he'll make you, make you pay. Absolutely. Definitely. Uh, what did he do there? I think he won. One. No, one out of that. I'd like to see the replay on that one. They're measuring, but uh, I can see the way Blake walked away from the head that he wasn't happy. Yeah. One. Yeah. One, two, best up. Re and remember, they were holding a fine about yes. half minutes, you know, in that. None of the teams approach you to wear their shirts? No, <laughs> not today. And I told people that I couldn't. And when I was asked who I was going for, and I said, I don't think I can pick. No. no diplo dip diplomatic says you can't. They're very keen for me to put one on. I said, that's <laughs> not going to happen. You have to remain sitting on the fence. I do. About two foot short there. Yeah, we're talking about whether the weather, as it got a bit colder, it changes a little yeah. bit. See how Jared goes. Looks pretty good. Well played. Yeah. That's great. That's Head a shot. lovely ball. Wouldn't fall down though. The good thing about watching bowls on the live stream is you can only watch one game. Because yes. when you come to a live game, you're trying to watch four yep. games and you can't do it. So I just don't see <laughs> anything, you know. Great shot from Jay by a couple rings over. Drew the shot there. Handy sort of guy to be having as a three. Oh, absolutely. Bushy gets the ball away so beautifully. He does have a very silky delivery. Yep. It's definitely not short here. No, he's got a little bit of weight on this. Great shot. Well played. Change it up. Yep. Well, when you've got someone like... Uh, uh, when you've got someone as, as good as uh, his skipper, mm -hmm. you can... Uh, you can sure that your back balls will come into play. Absolutely. The best it doesn't uh, leave short very often. Yeah, exactly. I like the way they call it Besta. Besta. It's like you're the best. Besta. It is a great nickname to yeah. have for someone with such talent. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly close here. Yeah. Great shot. Oh, wow. Well played. You made two there. 
totally different shot than he like he switched his hand just played a beautiful weight set it up in his first let's see how Rodders goes he's been uh, finding the target he likes this close uh, it's just gonna find the outside good effort I like that too Rod. sort of I fattened the target them. up there to be honest yes yeah. that is the slightly tighter hand so it just held a little bit on him because he plays here a lot yeah so he sort of thought that was good We've got Bolivia here. Uh, Bolivia from Queensland. I haven't seen Cass. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that big camp was on the. Did, did message in. Oh, that's good. All our friends from across Australia. It's great. It is, yeah. Still 13 shots in it, so it's remained fairly stable. It has remained very sort of consistent with the margin. So, you were here last year? I was here last year, yes. What happened? Um, Deer Park was all right. I've got a very goldfish memory. Yeah, You're testing Deer me Park here. went along pretty good, and then Melbourne they chased did. them hard. Yeah. And Melbourne had a really Melbourne, good finish. Yeah, and had a great finish, last yep. bowl finish. So I'm predicting Clayton, you know, sometimes it's good to be the chaser. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go into a game of pairs or something, you go, you kind of want to go in one behind in a tight game. Yeah. Because it's harder to hold, stop someone from getting one yep. or two than, um, so sometimes it's better to come from behind. See what Sean does. Let's just pop that out. Nice, there's a bit of cover. That is the direction the jack will go, so. I think Fiji's going to say something about mm. this. He's. Bad track. It's a good track. Probably just want it to hold. It's just going to sneak under. Weight was superb. They generally know the players. He he wasn't showing any reaction there, so it gives us a bit of a a tell that um, he's probably just under. So we reckon it's. One shot. That's Rod's orange bowl there, I think. Yeah, but I'm just looking on our screen. I, I think it's two. Right. Oh. To the other blue. Yep. Yeah, yeah oh, the orange bowl is close. probably not as close as it looks. No, I'm just here. looking at it from the screen. It, it does look about a foot wide. Yep. But it is very deceiving. Best is just going to try and land on the orange. Yeah, and, and maybe make a number. Oh. He's got nuggets. Okay. Oh, one more, oh, another half a roll. Yeah, I think he was going to try and use Ellen's bowl to roll, yeah. roll in through the gap. Yep. So every bowl that Black pays now when they're down is just big in the context yes. of the overall Absolutely. game. Uh, he knows that they need to push a bit, a bit more. Definitely. Good effort. Touch of weight. I wouldn't 
be surprised if Blake decided to play some weight here. Yep. Play through that uh, front bowl of bushies. And mm -hmm. if, if, my, if my eyes are right on this screen, uh, he's got the two backers to that right side. So. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's Rod's orange and, uh, yeah. and Veachie's. So I don't know whether... We're I'm, calling that tangerine. Yeah, I don't know if my angles are correct, but by my He's judgment... He's covered it. Well, that just tells you something, yeah, doesn't well, it? Yeah, there you go. I know I, go. I can call some things sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Still the shot to play. I mean, he's already about two down, so I don't think he can go much worse if that jack does go out there, so... Blue. So hit that blue. Yeah. Yeah. And get the edge of the jack out there. And if, I mean, if it goes to Bester's, it's only one. It's, it's only still one. better than however many. I think got. if he goes hard, it might kill it. Yeah. Worth the try. I feel some weight. Some, but he hasn't. Yeah, a bit of a backswing. He's drawing so well today. He has, I think yeah. he honestly almost believes. And there, it's close. you can draw the shot. Oh. Wow. Yeah, one to G Park. That went to Bushy's bowl back. And what Deep Park, they're denying Clayton to make a run. I mean, we were saying earlier, you know, you get one, they can't get anything. So that's mm. like getting two exactly, or more. Exactly, yeah. You no, know, like, and Clayton know now they need to push. Yeah. But ours is a complex game. You've got 16 players playing all individual things. For different games, you can't really influence what happens over there. No, you can't. All you can influence is what you do on the map with your two bowls. Yeah, exactly right. Be your soldier, do your bit. Good starter there. Yeah, they've had a good tussle, these two leads. Jared didn't quite get that one away as well as he wanted, but I think it... Yeah. He just lost the weight on the wobble at the start. Not usual for him because he's been grassing the ball beautifully. Yeah. Both the Leafs are playing the same hands that they played from the start. Mm -hmm. Ryan's playing the one closest to us, the wider one, and. And Jared's playing the tighter, slightly tighter holding hand. He looks like he's added weight here. So he's oh, looking to hold. Would we move the camera? If, well, we, we do plan for those, Sarah, so... Um, where the rinks are pretty even at the minute. So I'm hoping that we have a dead end on our rink or something. <laughs> it's very docile and quiet here at the minute, Sophie. It's, it's very like, uh, placid at the moment. Yeah. Great shot. A good addition to have the umpire out there with the... Um, I did see that, actually. Yeah. I did mention it uh, at the start of the game. I noticed it. Yep. Good idea. Gives us a, a better idea of what's happening. Sometimes you can't see what the yeah, call Lorraine. was. We thought we'd send Lorraine out there and uh, have the paddles. So Blue, she sorted it out and told us which colour was which. And Perfect. It's been good. I think the players are pretty used to it. But Toddy's on the march in the next rink.
He looks like he's really enjoyed his year at Clayton this year. It's, uh... You get a, 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 a get amongst a great bunch of people and you to go for the ride with them. It's great, isn't it? Absolutely. Sun's just starting to go down, so it'll get a bit dark. It's getting darker and even more cool. Yeah. It's caught two eight at night. We're playing a final. It feels a bit foreign, doesn't it? It does feel a bit strange. Mm. Feature's going to get down here. It's already shot. Something to yell about. Definitely close for second. I do favour the red one. Yeah. Best to stop to look at the end rink. Uh, it was one, I think. You don't see anyone bring the mat right up. No. And go to the, oh, I haven't seen it. I don't see it. They've all been mid to back. Yeah, we're all told to practice short ends and all this, <laughs> and they never do it. <laughs> it's true. What area are you in there? Clip that front bow. I guess everyone knows that with the big drivers, you know, you know where them the, a short distance you know where the kitty's going to end up. Yeah. These guys want to always be able to kill the end, so. Unch and Chris Ball stroll up to do their Pitney Skipper's company. <laughs> what do you do when you're playing three? Do you like to be the uh, skip or do you like to be down with the team? I do like to be with the skip. Um, yeah, yeah, Big play, Scotty Biles goes up. This is the Bengal ring. This is the one that could be the barometer. Beautiful ball. Two. Beautiful. All right, gets to get him excited. There's another two to go on there. That should get it within 10, I think. Yeah, 10. There it goes. Eight. Eight shots. Yeah, that's interesting. You got this, Go, go, go! Clayton Crowder starting to get a bit, find a bit of voice. Oh. Stiff result from Best Day. It was only about 50 minutes ago that the Deer Park crowds were going off and mm. Deer Park made a push. It looked like that was a push. This is a long game, Sophie. I mean, it's twists and turns everywhere and now Clayton's yeah. made their own little new part of the story. So that's how that's Feachie's bowl. 
best is chasing this one. Needs I it to turn. Don't think it'll get back. Needs it and to he's turn. And he's saying, why did... Yeah. Because they don't turn there. He had good weight, too. Did have good weight. So it looks like two to Clayton here. So far, yeah. I think the back bowl of Je um, Ryan Negris is third. What's he do here? What's it to turn? But he's covering. Out there. Is he? There's no balls. Two. 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 Six is the My market. goodness. What's happening here? Now, this is what we were talking about last year. It's got to have some memories yes. from the guys at Deer Park. They're all here. Yep. And I'm guaranteeing that maybe, maybe, um, maybe there's a couple of weeks that don't want to have the last, won't, don't want to be out there. Yes. I mean, generally, as a skip, you'd want to be out there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Ali Forsyth's got a few shots back over Sheriff there. Yeah. His third is just yeah. Scotty Bales is his third. Those red and white from... balls have been around the jack the whole time. Scotty comes from down at Karoy. I often say to clubs when they're looking for players, get out to the country. Yeah, there are. Get out to country Victoria. There are a there's lot, lot of, of hidden gems out Absolutely in there are. Yeah. You know. Have a look to tournaments like the Vic Open and then see who performs well. Absolutely. The region of Victoria is full of talent. Good shot. The runner-up in the triples, Vic Open triples men's last year. Um, Two guys from MCC picked up a scratch skipper from yes. Port Arlington, I yes, think. Yes, they did. Like I remember somewhere. Barbara put those together. Yeah. <laughs> Run around. Exactly. And the right. guy, was, guy was awesome. You know. He's done it again. She's looking a little tight here. Might hang on if he's got no. A couple of seconds. Look, it's a vulnerable bowl. Although it's a good bowl, it's vulnerable. He want to change this. Yeah. It's Jared at the back, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, he's short. Oh, I don't know. They're human. That looks a little more promising from Bushy. A lot more promising. He's got Close. it. With a very stiff result. All bowl. He won it. Yes. One to Clayton. Watching from Las Vegas. Glasses on Gus, have a read. <laughs> Which one? Oh, there. Neil, get back in the casino. <laughs> <laughs> Win some money. Yeah. Uh, it's 24 hour clock in Vegas. Uh, yeah, it does yeah. not stop over there. All right. Wow. The sheriff's done something. 
not Casey just got very two. up and about. Very, very up and about. Looks like two. Three. Sorry if this sounds silly. I'm just counting the bowls <laughs> as they take them out. And they're going to measure for the four. Get a win on one ring, and then um, Clayton gets a win on the next ring. I'd love to see this uh, the result on Sheriff's Rink. It was a very big applause. Four. Four. I don't know what they were holding. Neither do I, or if they were down. The other thing I remember from last year's final is that uh, Melbourne were in trouble on a couple of events when they were five and six down yes. and the skips through the shot almost yes. not that far apart. Great shot there. They win, it, they win your games. Great ball. Vichy. Made two. I kind of, if Blake hadn't played so well, I kind of give, I mean, I kind of give Vichy P.O.T. <laughs> early. But he has played very well. He's been a great foil. Oh, they got it out. Oh, oh wow, Snorkel. Yes. I think that is the most excited I've ever seen James, <laughs> ever. Well, when James gets his hands above his shoulders, <laughs> yeah. And gives a fist bump, you know yeah. that he's done something it's good. And odd cue, Sean Egan draws the shot. Like, this is just like counter punch for counter punch. It is. We did say we were a little bit quiet before. Well, uh, that's definitely It's all changed. warmed me up, actually. I'm it just... is. Last 11 ends, and Deer Park have pushed it back out to 10, and multiple results going around on the rinks. Good teams have a gear, don't they? Oh, absolutely, and they know when to step it up. Yeah. They don't use it all the time. Quite good. But Deer Park just said to Clayton, if you want this, you're going to have to really, really want to take it. He didn't leave him guessing, and it's a good home. Another number there for Deer Park. Four, another four. Push that lead back out to 14. And James was involved in that last game oh, last year. Um, so things start to catch play on your mind, and uh, he's just played an absolutely monster ball and says, mm -hmm. not happening this year, not I'm sorry. Again. Mm. Nugget got in store for us with this ball. He's just strolling down after it like it's Sunday I'll afternoon. I'll tell you what, he's played a lot. Uh, that is a very tricky hand to play with yeah. one ball right in your line yeah. and he almost did it. You have to really just throw it out. And, you do, and, and just and hope for the best, hope, to be for, hope it grips. Which it probably... Better than running into the short stuff. Absolutely. We've got state and group stuff coming up. We Were do. you at the trials? Did you go out to the trials last week? Group? Um, no, we haven't had our region oh, trials yet. Right. No, they're coming up. Oh, you're in Northern, aren't you? I'm Northern Gateway, Sorry. yes. I keep thinking <laughs> you're with the Great West. I was best. like, have I missed something? No. 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 I thought, have I said something? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Now, ours are um, due to be in a couple of weeks, I believe. Current champs, aren't you? We are current champs, yeah, both men's and women's. Um, it was a very exciting time last year. That was uh, great, wasn't it? It was. A, it was a very good couple of days up at Miami. Mm. And a trooper, I should say. Yeah.
That's a great venue, that Moama venue. Oh, it is. Venue. Beautiful facilities, mm. Moama House. I yeah. enjoy my time there every time. I yeah, go, so. look, Liam and the, his team does a great job up there. They've been a great supporters of uh, Bowls Victoria. We'll continue to do so as we support them. All right. Can he draw this? Was he playing something different? Definitely over the draw. I think he's looking to promote uh, uh, Alan's bowl, if yeah. not around to sit the he's shot. He's around it, very and close. he's got the bowl. He's got it. Good shot. Oh, it rocked back. Oh. Stiff result. What a bowl. He can't believe, he goes, that went up and back. Makes two if he got mm. that. So that slipped out to an 18 shot lead now. Yeah. My goodness. Isn't that crazy it was how six, wasn't it? It was, I think it got to four or six. Six. Six, yeah. yeah. And that was just like a millisecond ago. And now how many ends we've done? 75. Yeah. Two, two rings with a four, and all of a sudden it's back out. Yeah. And another couple, another one to Deer Park here. You see, it shows you in games you've just got to weather a 20-minute storm. Yes. And they did that, hit back, um, and here we are. Well, this is where we'll Clayton have to decide now, do we chase? Um, Last eight ends. Eight ends. You've got to go for everything you can go for you now. Do, yeah. Even if you lose by another 20 shots, it doesn't yeah. make any difference. No risk, no reward. Nope. And so important for the Deer Park front ends to keep doing the job they've been doing. Absolutely. Ryan Negri's done that on cue. Great ball. The skipper just go, thank you very much. Start to build ahead. I didn't recognise Orch in a proper in a proper hat. <laughs> he just must have changed it. The other one was just keeping him warm, of course. Absolutely. Half beanie, half cap. Yeah. This one's just a little on the tight side and on the quick side. Yeah. Thank you, Robin. Very nice of you. Got some fans out there, so <laughs> one by the looks. <laughs> well, we're building up our commentary team, and we need to. We've got you and Tris, and yes. um, we had Anne Miles. Remember for the big We did have Anne Miles. Fun? Yes, that was the great. I was with Annie then, and oh, I did it with Tris and with Annie. Actually, yep. I was with both of them, wasn't I? Yep. And no, it was me. Yeah, and you killed oh, yeah, three yeah, of us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was great. Enjoyed that. That was the women's singles and yep. the women's triples, I remember. Yep. Seems like yesterday. It does. Well, I mean, to be fair, usually we'd wait a year between the Copens. That's true. And um, we're only waiting a couple of months, so. Oh, I'll have to get you back. Absolutely. Hopefully you're going to be too busy winning. <laughs> That's the plan. I'm I saying. really hope so. I've, I've, I've found myself some solid players, so Good. I was very blessed this year you with my teammates. You went scouting this year. You didn't just sort of I did. Well, I actually am playing with Tris, so I'm, right. I've got Tris with the trip for the triples and Kate from South Australia, Kate Arjun uh, is yep. coming over. She's, she won the... Yeah, she was in the one we commentated, wasn't she? No, no, that was Kath. Ah. Kath. Kate's, um, Kate's the youngin. Yep. And Kate is my pair's partner. We played together at the AO and got to the last 16. Oh, great. So we're looking to do uh, one better or a couple better. And I've also got my good friend Jared Davies flying down from Broad Beach. I saw Jared was coming down. How good's that? He's, uh, I convinced him to come play in the mix with me after Nathan sadly couldn't because yep. uh, South Australia had their pennant finals. So. Blackie? Yes, Nathan Black. 
so I've, you did I've, pick I've, them, I've, don't I've you? got some. I was a good recruiter this year, so fingers crossed for some good results. Yeah. Now get in early. Take it follows us down. A little strut. Got a bit of a pep in his step. He wouldn't mind changing this. No. Ooh. Yeah. Not bad, home. So Bushy's holding shot. I think the front orange of Rod is probably second. Beachy follows this down. He knows it's just going to drift underneath. Oh. Yeah. He's annoyed with that. So the skips will be, the skips and thirds will be looking to build heads for Clayton anyway, that mm -hmm. they can pick up some threes and fours. Absolutely. Um, and you can see Nuggets put his round right, right on the line at the back. Mm -hmm. Nuggets chasing this one. He's got a very good track here. A very, very good track. He's done yes. it. Great yes. shot. Well played. Yeah. That takes the number out. In Premier, uh, you'll find that uh, when you watch it and play it, that uh, it's, you play their shot. Absolutely. Uh, yep. Beat them in there. You cannot leave something open for no. these guys. Not with the standard of play, because you know nine times out of ten they're going to get it. So do it first. The cover bowls, they do play them. Yes. But um, Here's the replay from before, and it flopped straight back. Uh, Very stiff. So Ali's 27-8, he's hanging about. He's done well to get back to I, that. I don't think the score has represented that game very well, no. to be honest, because there was multiple numbers um, based on, you know, one or two good bowls instead yeah. of, you know, Ryan Tatum's just pointed to the sky and drawn a great shot. So another one maybe to do park. No, we've got more to come. Yeah, if you look, uh, Sheriff's got a, a five and a three, a five, one, three in the last three ends. Yeah. See, that's... That's the difference. Yep. And a three and a four to start the game, yep. so... Yeah. So he's had scoreboard pressure for most of the game. Yep. Blake started out 10 love up, and he's still 10 up. So yeah, then he's very, retained that. So that's, Very consistent yeah. lead. Shot, made their four. Four. Just made four. And that's not easy to get at. Like, that's really hard to get at. Front orange, nothing's going forward. They're no. just going to splinter off each other. It's a, it is a hard ball to get to, that yeah. one. Well, Beach should be saying, uh, open it up. Open it up with the first one. Yeah. Yep. I you, would say so. You're in a hiding to Give nothing. yourself half a chance. Yep. He's got a good guard ball to come underneath, that short ball. Big weight here. Oh, he hit the short one. I think he went yeah. forehand. He did go forehand. Yep. Mm. Um, okay. I don't know. Well, either I, hand would have worked, I believe, just yeah. sort of clearing those front ones. But yeah, just. I think everyone kind of has a favourite hand. To yes, play mine is with. definitely my forehand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine's my forehand. Sometimes they come out funny on that backhand. Mm. So. <laughs> and in that case, he was just clearing bowls out. But unfortunately, the forehand is a more turning hand. Yes. I've just seen Reese comment, go hard and hope, and I think that's exactly what we were going for with that bowl. Yeah.
from Blake. Yeah. Well, he's four down. There is a track there. That blue ball's out of the way now. Yes. There is a track there on the backhand. I think he'll play for that. Uh, but, you know, drawing second shot, is that going to help their case? Dropping four doesn't. No. He's asking for advice. Find a friend, Blake. 50-50. <laughs> no, mate. He'll play the draw. Yeah. Not a sh mm, that looks no. like it's turning. No, it's. I mean, uh, he's hitting the group that he didn't want to hit. Yeah, didn't yeah. All right. Another four to your park. That brings it back out to, what are we? Oh. Currently 16, so that 21. makes it 20. Yep. That took me way too long to do that math, and that's how you know I'm getting tired. <laughs> yeah, well, it's quite a lot of concentration. I'm usually snappy with my math skills. Yeah. This is where I'd like to see, I'd, I've never seen any team ever do it, but basically all of them, the team just come together as a 16. Yes. Yep. I don't think there's any rule that says you can't do it. Uh. And just, no. just say, I mean, if it, as long as it's all their bowl, I, yeah, I yeah. think that'd be well, fine. Well, that's right. Yeah. They're not getting in the way. I can see smoke, and it smells like barbecue. I think someone, oh, there's someone cooking over there. Right. I can see. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> someone's cooking some Well, food. someone's really vaping it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, even if it's their bowl, you can walk off, I suppose. But I'd like to see a team do it. Yeah. Because sometimes you're standing there and you think, does everyone, are we all on the same page here? Yes, exactly. We had an instance this year against Melbourne where after the game we realised if each of us had just got a one, we would have won the game. Yes. But we lost the game by nine or ten. Yes. And and, and we were... Um, And for some reason, our rink was trying to chase the six that went oh, in okay. our rink. Yes. And I'm not sure that everyone was on the same yeah. page. But, um, uh, yeah, we became obsessed, I think, with trying, yeah. to, trying to win the, win all, the two all, points instead yeah, of the ten. Yeah. Two good shots there from um, Very good. Jared. Yep. I couldn't really spit, split the leads. I'd have to look at the replay, which I'll be going to yeah. do when I get home. Yep. Um, I couldn't really split it. What are you, what's your feelings? Um, from the half that I've been here, yep. I think it's been fairly consistent. Yep. Um, I, I, have, I feel like if one of them was off, one of them was on, and vice versa. Like then, and then there's been a couple of ends where there was four right around the jack. So um, I, I think it's been pretty consistent from both sides. I think the score's quite, maybe not quite reflective. I mean, I think they, they're only six up now yes. uh, in this rink. I mean, the way that guys played, um, especially the back end, Vici and Blake, um, it could have been 10 or 12. Absolutely, yep. It may still end up that, you know. Yeah. But it's the last end, of course. Yep. Last, last four over all. So. This last hour's gone so quickly. It has gone very quickly, actually. So, it looks like the last rink to finish uh, is going to be... Ryan Titans. Titans yep. rink. Uh, they're on 19, playing their 20, 20th. Uh, all the others are playing there. Um, Ali's finished. Ali and um, Omar, they're finished, so they're yep. off. And we'll probably <laughs> hang about... So I'd like to see the celebration. I would like to see the celebration. So we might, we'll probably keep the main camera on. Uh, and we could probably get our, our camera to swivel around to, to yeah, watch absolutely. that last, last um, Brad's, a, Brad's a magician. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking coming in the car here today, Brad's done two years. Well, I've been doing it for two years. So, but he's um, 
it's almost like second nature. He runs oh. us, you see. Yeah, our producer. The amount of buttons that are sitting right in front of me, I'm amazed by. Well, people often say to me, why don't you do more rings? Couldn't you have another thing? Going? I'm like, do you realise there's I a whole production? I can see currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There'd be at least 20 screens in front of me, all with different camera angles. Yep. So... I think that's more than enough to control. Yeah, that's what, what's enough for one man to juggle. Absolutely. A woman could do it, but us guys, we're not, <laughs> we're not too good at doing more than one thing. <laughs> oh, James Pierce, thread and a needle. Great shot, Snorkel. There's many different stories in a win, a win or a loss like mm -hmm. these, and we'll hear about them over the week. Um, but I think it's, uh, it's you've got to say that uh, it's retribution day for Deer Park. Yeah. Um, and no matter what the data say, they're going to walk away with the chocolates today. Yes. Um, and uh, well deserve it for, you know, I know the hard work that, you know, I know a lot of people don't mm -hmm. see it. I, I've, I see it. And um, these guys have uh, come together and put, put together a very special team. And it'll mean as much to a Sean Ingham who flies in as it does to Chris Paul. Absolutely. You know, um, you know we are a brother and sisterhood of bowls. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love playing the game. And uh, there's sure to be some tears and there'll be some joy. There always is. And if there wasn't, we wouldn't play the game. Just a bit shy with that one. So the um, Pierce rink is finished. I'm not sure what they got. Um, I think, I reckon Deer Park got a couple more shots there. Yeah, it's just, I um, think Snorkel had at least one, so. Yeah, he came through and, yeah. So Pierce would have run by at least four. So, the big ball played by Best D. Like, he's a great shot. So he's made two, I think. And I think if if Ryan's ring loses by four or five, they've probably done their job yeah, too. Yeah, exactly in the right. Position they were in. Yep, hundred percent. But it's going to be a three rink, at least a three rink win to Deer Park. Yes. The twenty four ten on. Rimble Street uh, hurts, but it happens. And I'm sure I didn't see the game, um, but I I know that the uh, the guys, that, the team they're playing, are a pretty good team. Absolutely. And, yeah, they're having a hug, and it's all good spirit and good nature. Yes. Drive coming up. Oh. All over. Yeah. She just conceded. What a game. Oh, fat. just an absolutely fantastic game. And I'm just looking at the spirit displayed by all, um, you know, respect. And they'll walk away, fate to be. <laughs> but Deer Park guys have just been chasing this for a they have. number of years now. They have. And all their supporters here today, and yeah. uh, you know, it's absolutely fantastic scenes out here. It's uh, they'll pay their respects to their opponents, and uh, and then they'll go and celebrate. Absolutely, hard. yep, hundred percent. Well deserved from the Deer Park crew as well. Ali came across to Vici and gave him, you know, said, "Well done, mate. You did your job." You know. There's a lot of closeness. Yeah. It's, it is a very close... I mean, it's only 10 teams. There's only going to be eight in the Prem next exactly, year. Exactly, yeah. Everyone knows each other. Um, some have played in a few of the clubs. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but you can see, like, Bushy, how much it means to him. You know. Absolutely. Someone's running onto the green with the fear the deer sign. I love the fear the deer. <laughs> They're very... They are very... I don't care what anyone says about Deer Park. They're a very close-knit group of they people. Are. 
us, us guys out in the West, we go. Uh, I'm calling myself a Westie, although I live in <laughs> South Yarra. But, you know, I, I, I'm just a need to, when I went out there to see how close um, uh, and, and what rivalries exist yep. um, between the clubs as well. Exactly right, yeah. But they're all out, out there on the green hugging and it uh, probably won't sink in um, until about the fifth or sixth beer tonight and they'll start to realise what they've achieved. Yes. So, we've got a presentation coming up. I think we can probably stay on and, and do that, Brad. I think they'll get the presentation underway pretty quickly. It's getting 8.21. Yeah. Well, at least we don't have Jimmy, uh, you know, talking about Melbourne this year. <laughs> you know, that's a good thing. And uh, I know he's been pretty excited with their wins last year and... Uh, He's uh, silently happy, I think, that uh, Deer Park have finally scratched the itch. They have, yeah. Um, and that might just mean that, you know, things will settle down a bit because they've been, they been going at it hard and uh, fair play to them. I'm so happy for the guys I know in that team and uh, friends of mine there. And I feel sorry for the friends I got to play. So. Yes. The supporters are just over the moon, aren't they? No one's leaving. They're all hanging no. around for the presentation. They had a bit of disappointment in their second side this year, so yeah. um, uh, they fell at the last hurdle, and uh, so this will make up for it a bit. Absolutely, yeah. Well, so yeah, great couple of hours went pretty quick. It did, it did actually. Thanks for coming out no and uh, sharing your great knowledge. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> hopefully, you'll give us a bit of time up at the Vic Open. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, Happy to. And looking forward to uh, seeing everyone down there. And if you're if you're not entered into the Vic Open, you know maybe come down and, and have a look at some of the events that are absolutely, going on. Absolutely, yeah. Support the country. We like to get down and do that, and uh, support our friends down there, like our sponsors here, BCIB and uh, Moabra and. and uh, uh, hence a lot. So we've been great to have them on board and all our uh, commentators today and Brad, our, our panel operator, our, our, all the people that it takes to put this on. Um, Danny on Club do a great job as usual. Absolutely. And uh, we look forward to a new... Uh, we've got one more game to go, of course. Yes, everyone. Friday night. Yeah. Friday night. We've got um, a gonna, battle in the West. I'm going to attempt the, uh, the trek from Ballarat there. So we've um, got... Uh, uh, Mooney Valley yes. playing uh, Fitzroy, Fitzroy for the one last spot in Premier League. So get out yeah. there and uh, get your bowls fixed there and uh, we'll hopefully see you all out there. And uh, If not, next year, I uh, look forward to seeing you and enjoy and have a safe uh, winter away. Thanks, that's, uh, thank you, Sophie and no Angus McCarthy signing off.